And it's just you and me, Cloudy. Oh, great. Yeah, yeah. I have no idea where Mark is at. I have no idea where Ash is at. Neither of them actually, like, left me a message saying that they weren't going to be here. So, Ooh, I man, screw them, guys. Don't worry. I just cracked open a, a cold one. So we're good. A cold one? Is it Cerveza Cristal? No, oh, no. Uh, it is wow. just a normal sparkling cider. Oh, uh, alcoholic variety. But but so, so not cerveza cristal, really? No. That's, yeah. That's Sorry. Uh, you know, I was actually like trying to go all around, um, mm -hmm. trying to find a cerveza cristal for myself. Uh, it's a it's a Chilean beer. Of course, oh. for those people that uh, that don't know the meme that I put in my Five Paradise Regained review three times, three times. <laughs> <laughs> it's um it's an old commercial from from chile in terms of um it's most famous for being in the original star wars trilogy for being a segue into their commercial breaks where they would actually put a portion of the film and find a proper way to segue into looking like it's part of the movie but it's just the commercial the for the beer yeah so, so yeah it, it's great so so that's um that's that so honestly if you just search up oh, Mark's running late. Find it. He's, oh. he's coming he's coming oh he's, he's, uh, he's gonna show up yeah he's he gonna show up in and he's gonna be showing up probably with food in his mouth so probably. that's on if mark's gonna have food in his mouth when he gets on camera mark like, if you're still in chat you got food in your mouth you're coming in with food in your mouth we, we won't know we won't know until he shows up okay okay Listen, he might have the pickle jar in his hand, yeah. Look, we'll talk about those legend cards once we get to the legend card segment. We'll get there. So, how was your day or week, uh, Zeal? Um, it's it's all right. I started my second job, so it's it's a thing. Oh, you got one. Let's go. Yeah, I got a second job. Whoa, because that's how the economy is right now. Guys yeah. need to get a second job just to make shit work. Yep. Uh, how how was the job though? How, how was uh, it was just virtual training. Next week is when I actually go um, okay. hands on. So it's Listen, not bad. At least bad. you're out there. You know, you're doing your best. Yep, I gotta do what you gotta do. Because needless to say, obviously YouTube does not pay the bills for me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and now neither does your regular job. Oh, absolutely not. If people knew how much money you actually make from YouTube, even like with the channel that I've got, like. I see a payout maybe every two months if I'm lucky. And that's because the payout threshold is normally like a hundred dollars. Uh, so you have to make at least a hundred dollars. And since I don't do sponsored content or anything like that, it's literally just whatever ads are there and then super chats if we get them. But nine times out of 10, the payouts like every two months and it's like a hundred and eight bucks if I'm lucky. So, Hey, I I mean, listen. Once the once you get a little more, I think the sponsors will start coming in. Then you can. Start YouTube's a hobby. It's not a second job. <laughs> so YouTube's a hobby until you become big. Then it can become your job. You know what I mean? That's true. So the biggest thing about me that I most people probably don't know is that I'm an extreme workaholic. I have to stay busy. I don't like procrastinating. I have to find something to do, or else like I kind of go insane. In, in a yep. sense, so uh, it's why he grinds in video games. Uh, yes, like yes. So if I find something to to do, then I will do it. Thus, uh, why I work my day job, why I need to work a second job, why I still do Twitch on the weekends, why I do these live streams. I like keeping things pretty concise to like a schedule type of thing. Uh, and needless to say, the amount of sleep I've not been getting has been in the single, well, you know, I would say, has been in, like, the triple digits in the last month alone. 
Really? Even so, though the alcohol you're consuming, it's not knocking you out? No, because remember, I stay up until like 4 a.m. editing videos half the time. Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, that also reminds me. I remember you keep telling us like three hours just for a YouTube short. Damn. Yes. Yeah. So, so the thing is, it's like um, just uh, in terms of a lot of my editing process, of course, I put in a lot of editing work into my videos in general. Uh, I'm not just like hiding behind like, you know, uh, like you, Mr. VTuber guy. Um, it's easy. It's It's nice. Yeah, I actually like try and get camera ready before I record my videos and stuff like that. Then, of course, I got the costume swaps that I got to do. And then, of course, there's all the, the post-production editing that I got to do on my end when it comes to Adobe Premiere Pro, putting in the visual effects, all that good stuff, uh, which can take a while. Some people uh, might not realize that even like a 14-second bit, if I'm doing everything, virtually everything from scratch, can take hours to make. That first Selvesa Crystal, like, bit that I did in the Fies Paradise Regained review took about three hours to make all the visuals and everything just go in there. Now, the mm -hmm. second and third one did not take as much time because I'd already made the visuals that I needed you to. You have the base, so, exactly. Yes. But it's the same thing like when I start a new um, when I start a new show review or I change up my, my Twitch layout and things like that. That all takes time just to come up with the new layouts, uh, the new copyright filters that i gotta put on like the screens for for footage and shit like that and of course i tried changing up the intro and logo and things like that all that stuff takes time so and it's just gotta, me it's yeah. just me we got a five dollar super chat we got five dollars i hope my pc doesn't crash it did go through a system up you either need to like night. train you an editor to take over some of that for you or you need to like i don't know and it Bubba. There we go. Musa Muteki for five dollars says, "Congrats on your second job. May your paradise regain itself from the loss. You got this." Ah, uh, we'll see. Nice punny joke. I got it. I like it. Nice. I did uh, haggle my way to almost top of the the pay that they were offering for the position, though. So, hey, good. Uh, that's yeah, because I told him it's like uh, the job that you're offering me in my previous job, I was the one that was in charge over those resets that you guys now have. So I know everything that you do, like the back of my hand. So, hey, there's that. Oh, thank you, Merlezy. You got another one. Oh, I got another one. Merlezy for $5 says, here's a very small bit of Toku debt relief. Appreciate everything you do. I fucking love the cold open bits. <laughs> I love you. We love you too. Yeah, do it. Thank you. It's fun. Uh, but yes, yeah. what is subbed? Uh, outsiders, I'm guessing. I don't know. Uh, I think it just means in general. But... Oh, that reminds me. Just for you guys, you know, it is good advice if for any of you guys who haven't gone to the job market or job field yet. Whatever price they set on, like, whatever ad you look through to get a job is not the actual price you'll probably be paid. You have to haggle that. You got to be like, know your benefits and what you offer so that you can increase the way the pay, you know what I mean? Stuff like that. Yeah, pretty much because uh because when uh like long story short, of course this position is like an entry level position at another company and blah 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 blah. Uh where I live at in Georgia, of course the uh the minimum wage is I think like at federal, so it's like the lowest amount. It's like seven something twenty five, right? something like yeah. that. Something stupid like that. Um <laughs> So when talking about this position, I was just like, uh, I can already assume it's between like 13 and 16, right? And they were like, you're exactly right. And I was like, great. Um, well, given my previous experience and the fact that I've already done everything that you guys are doing already, and I was the one in charge over all of this, I'm going to ask for 16. They met me at 1550 and I was like, okay, cool. Now listen, that's at least double the minimum. Yep. So got it. We are good on that front, but that's some uh, some life yeah. advice for everybody, uh, especially when it comes to looking for jobs and and all that good stuff. Uh, so yes, we've got a a docket tonight. Uh, of course, we got our superhero time lineup. We've got latest God chart, which uh, broke some wind, you might say, and uh, <laughs> yeah, some hot wind for sure. And we got some boom boomger, which of course, once again, um. I don't 
do the reviews for Sentai post episode one until episode five. And I will say now that I'm lucky that I kept my word to Mark and let him ride the algorithm on his second Boom Boom Dr. review because I was this close to actually making a Boom Boom Dr. episode two review because I actually enjoyed the episode that fucking much. So I'm just saying, I'm just saying, this was the first time I was close to breaking my rule. I was like, oh no, I feel like I gotta, I gotta do it. I gotta do it. But then I was like, uh, but Mark's so out still here. Open it with <laughs> Well, I'm just saying, it's like, I saw that Mark's video was actually doing really good for Boom Boom Jer, like, episode two. Oh, yeah. Ash's video was doing really good for Boom Boom Jer, episode two. And I was like, look, you know what? I'm not going to take the sales out of their their wins. I'll let them ride the algorithm train for now, and I'll just reclaim that crown once we get to episode five. So, you know, it's good. Oh. It's good. Oh, so, that reminds me. Don't forget, uh, you got a mixture of what? 70 or was it 100 subs last since last week? Um, you're at a uh, three, three, one something. Uh, I think I looked at it like thirty three nineteen, but it's not enough for me to open this guy up yet. No, no, you guys got to get the five k for that. Or at least no, no, it was four k. It was four k by the end of the month, and we ain't nearly there. We this got... expired two year old Pocky's one chip challenge. Sixteen days to make you suffer. Okay. So, Come on, guys. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Daylight Savings Time was a thing. Ash uh, forgot about that. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's... Oh, right, I forgot about that. Uh, the U.S. is strange. Our Daylight Savings Time is no longer lined up with the rest of the world that celebrates uh, celebrates Daylight Savings. So, yeah. I always think that's weird. It's... uh, they, they need to do away with Daylight Savings Time. Absolutely need to get rid of that. Wasn't that a whole thing just for like something about farming back in the day? Yes, the farmers needed it. Yeah. So why why do they keep doing? It? We are farmers. Bum ba dum bum 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 bum. bum, bum. bum. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm like this current whatever daylight savings time is right now needs to be the permanent one because for me, you know, I I prefer the fact that it's still sunny up until like you know eight p.m. So I'm like good. I'm good with that. I hate when it's like night at five thirty p.m. Hate that. Oh, so yeah. I hate the winter daylights. I like the daylights during this period. This is the best time. So all about it. So um yeah, outside of superhero time, we got some uh some news in terms of some chemi card voting that they've got going up for some legend writers. I'll be navigating the website on that once we get to that topic. And then uh God, every time you get older, you just see your heroes just crumble away in different ways, ways shapes and forms and are you talking about the p diddy situation I, I i mean no i mean this week the fact that we got the austin st john uh you know oh, that uh, one too oh you know who had some good had some pretty good one-liners <laughs> oh my god oh, oh we'll get to that that train wreck um later on because boy um that was a thing <sighs> yes that was a thing that was a thing that uh that happened and shit like the conflicts because this is like childhood hero and then it's like oh what are you doing so uh let's move on to god chart this week so god chart this week Minato is officially a traitor, and Lactis has been sent out to uh to do him in. But Lactis was like, but we had a plan. You were going to go ahead and get them kids to get strong enough to beat Gideon. If you don't do that, then, you know, what, what, what we got going on? And then, come to find out that, you know, it was the plan the whole time to find out that Lactis was actually in cahoots with Minato and a traitor the whole time. So, Clotho with her clothes on, and... You know, Atropos shows up, and they gotta they gotta do Lactis in, but it's not Clotho that transforms into Dread. No, it's the little one, and they pulled a Justin. They made her. Uh, they made her get big. I was yeah, expecting pint size Dread. I was expecting mini Dread. You you knew we weren't gonna. I get was that. expecting they don't, Dreadle. They were not Dreadle. Just little little tiny Dread. 
But no, we got we got Big Dread, and I was in the. So, look, it would have been funny. It would have been. It would have, but we know they wouldn't have named themselves. Like in King Oger when they were small and then they like became like pint sized King Oger. Same thing in Geki Ranger when you know they became Jam became a kid and got mini like Geki Red. You know, could have done it, they could have done it, but I guess because of the armor of it, they couldn't just slap some pajamas on on a child suit actor. So, yeah, we got what we got. It's it's okay, it was what it was. But yeah, the big thing about this is uh, after using that uh, that ten liner power up with uh, Iron Gotchard, well, Hotaro is just a little drained out, but not enough so to the point that he still wants to go ahead and fight in, even though you know he's got a support structure there. The big thing that we got here was, of course, uh, Fuga making his grand reappearance yet again, this time as a brand new writer. With the greatest name ever. You want to take a, a guess to what that great name is? And he's eating food. Uh, he's eating food, everyone. Oh, I heard you say it, so I was like, all right, I got to I got to get something. In. Yeah. How was work? Good? Yeah. All right. Works yeah. his work. And Ash. Wow. Oh, a two for one. Trendsetter. Trendsetter right there. You want to switch me and Ash real quick? Uh, no, but because you got the chat. Oh, okay. You got the chat covering your screen, so you're good. Oh, I didn't. I don't even see the chat. Oh, I see the chat. Oh, okay. No, I yeah, I don't see it on the um preview feed, which you hear. No, that's weird because I see the chat on the screen myself. So it's there. Boy, I don't think I don't even think chat can see the chat. Chat, can oh. you see the chat? Oh, oh, yeah, they can. Yeah, it's there. A little bit, a little text. Box. No, I'm saying on the um. Talk studio where we do the thing. I can't see. Oh it. yeah, no, I don't see it there either. Yeah, mm -hmm. for me, it literally shows up right in front of Cloudy's. Maybe because you're uh, the host. So I see the chat. Yeah, on the yeah, studio. You you yeah, do? but not and then... the on-screen chat, the one that overlays on the screen. Oh, oh the one on the side. Yeah. yeah, okay. I don't see that. I don't see that. I don't see all. it overlaid on the. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Uh, so, yeah, we're talking Gotchard right now, and we're talking about the greatest writer with the greatest name ever. Wind. Uh, wind the break. Break wind. I mean, just wind. Just regular ass just wind. wind. What's the, <laughs> the suction between the two cents of this series? This, this, uh, this week? There's a lot of sucking yeah. going on. Yeah, a lot of sucking going yeah. on. I mean, There's it is lot. Gotchard. It sucks to suck sometimes, but... Yeah, just you know saying. What I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> But look, it's a really nice suit. It's definitely a nice suit, though. He's using the same exact mechanic that uh, that Rene is using. So the earlier rumors that, of course, this was going to be another like wise man situation where that driver is just for multiple riders is true because we got it. And uh, let me get on here and just share this guy real fast because it, it's a good suit. It yeah, yeah, I've seen that. Yeah, I've seen that floating around. It's a good-looking suit. I like the way he fights too. It's not the kick was pretty good. Though I'm I like, like the this this doesn't exactly scream good, good guy. guy suit to me. Yeah, That's yeah, not... that as well. That as well. When I yeah. first saw it out of context, when I saw that, I was like, "His the... her dad's gonna be evil, ain't he?" Yeah, and the thing is, it's like he pulls out some some nice moves, some nice finishers, and things like that. Um, and then uh, Gideon just takes a a lightsaber to the back of Fuga, uh, causing him to turn to alchemy again. But it was like the second I saw that, and I'm like, you know, there's some. I guess you can call this not really gold, but still gold. And I know a certain guy in this show that loves him some gold. Gideon. So I'm like, this this could become his writer form. Like, he could literally just snatch up this suit and just be like, this is my writer form. Gold. Yep. I feel like they'll have more of a solid gold thing for him if he does become a writer. I mean, it shouldn't be hard to, like, replace those portions. Just put some gold vinyl on them, bitches. Take it out back, put the spray paint on it. And they got it. 
My whole but thing is this. Will that chip? I don't know. This is going to continue like the streak of like final villain being like a writer in like the Reira era. If this keeps happening, and that's what I was afraid of when Gideon became like a human. That he's going to become a writer because yes, he's definitely going to become yeah. a writer. Oh, yeah. yeah, and if yeah. he's the like actual final villain, then yeah, he's going to be another writer final villain, guys. Though, Cloudy, when we were talking off screen before starting, you speculated that Minato could be the one to inherit this form because now Minato's, you know, done playing his I'm I'm a bad guy arc. I was really just supporting y'all. I was playing my own long game type thing, even though the long game went for 10 episodes. Well, actually, not long enough. It was like, what, four episodes? It it was it was the dread arc that I was hoping Sabi Maru would have gotten, but hey, at least someone got it. True. So that that's somewhat better, but now dread's still being passed around like nobody's business. So when you look at the the wiki entry for dread, you're just gonna see the <laughs> list of users, and it's gonna yeah. be like a laundry list. So, I like it. I has got the little arrow where it's like pointing who gets it and then who got it, and then I personally. Who got it again. Was hoping that the arrow would point down. You know that little triangle in the center of that like driver. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was hoping that triangle would just point down. I mean, it could be a thing where they they make another version of the gotcha driver that has like a revolve on function, and then it flips Uh. upside down. But then the cards fall out, and then you're like, "Oh no, the cards! Oh, Uh. you're spilling my cards!" Damn. No, those know. things are I've secured kind of in there. Yeah, you can't knock them out with them. I've checked out on the show because I'm tired of like evil riders, and I swear if we get the final villain as another rider again this season, I may that's, just be like, you know what? Next, that's next what Rewa is. Next season, just, I'm taking a break. I've been, I've been you know? tired of yeah. evil riders for so many years, and the thing is, Heisei Two was filled with them. Yeah, my yeah, thing is like, but it's like. It's one thing if it's in the middle of a show, but it's the final villain every time. Like it's getting very like, predictable don't like and boring. This cliche anymore. Like it was kind of. I need cool I need a big times. bulky monster. Yeah. You know. Yeah, that's the one really... thing that I would give Revice credit is that Gifu did not become a a writer. Yeah. But oh, then no, we I had the know. epilogue and still gave us Juga. Yeah. Yeah. And, and then we still got you know. Revi nice. on, on Vice. So it's like, I uh, it, we, we still ended up on a writer note. So, yeah. It's just one of those things where I'm just curious, like, what, what they're thinking is, like, it is cool to have, like, an evil writer be a bad guy. It was cool the first time. But I, yeah. I when they keep doing it, it's like, it's more of, like, a thing you suspect. So it's like, ah, I don't know. They that premium Bandai belt sales. Or do they think they can do better fight scenes because they're doing writer on writer versus monster? Well, the thing is, I would I would rather take a really cool, sleek villain looking suit that doesn't have to be a common writer. It could just be a sleek, like yeah, villain suit that nice. could look pseudo writer ish, but not exactly that. Just something that's very streamlined and form fitting, uh, which are typically some of the better monster designs are the ones that look more streamlined. Oh yeah, like uh, the samurai dude in Shinkendra. There's um mm-hmm. yeah. So Huger's final big bad was very sleek and very stylish. Kind of reminded yeah. me of Sephiroth. I actually really like that. The villain designs in So Huger. <laughs> Those are insane. So, so when you get shit like that, I actually really like that. Because it doesn't take away from glorious fight scenes. Because the fact that everything could be so very streamlined. Because uh, even... Just because someone mentioned like, double in chat. I'm thinking of, like, the Nazca dope pant. Like, that was a very sleek fucking suit. Fucking love that when I first saw that. And, uh, yeah, it, it's... We need good villain design that isn't tacked on with the common Rider moniker to it. Like, I get it. It's gonna sell toys, but you could easily make them transform and not be a writer, just be something else, and not transform using a, a belt gimmick, maybe something different, think outside the box, and then yep. make that work. It could very easily be done, and they don't do it. Don't know why. So, uh, but yeah, um, Fug is dead again. Not really. Um, he just says that I'll be back, and then he turns into a puddle of um, whatever he turned into. <laughs> Oh, is that what happened? I have not seen it. Yeah, yeah. yeah so, so he gets stabbed instead of like dying. He just like in episode one where he turns into like a gold 
puddle. Yeah. Here he turned into like a reddish goldish puddle and just yeah. went into the cracks of like their the clones is apparently what, that, what they're going with. These are just clones. when you describe it sounds like it, it sounds so outrageously fucking weird. Yeah. <laughs> it's just how he goes out. It's just like I'll be back. Yeah. <laughs> And so my it. thing is like if he keeps making these copies, I wonder where the original is. Uh in um in the school that we don't see enough of because no one oh. checks. Oh yeah, probably. He's just hiding out in the closet. Yeah. Unless uh he made a bad uh bad alchemy swap out and now his entire body is stuck in another realm. Oh, maybe. Maybe he is in the realm of darkness, you know? He is. A, he's in a giant white room. Just trapped there. And he's just trying to wiggle his way out one way or another. But yeah, God Shard is still pretty cut and dry. Of course, next week, well, technically, like, tomorrow, we get uh, Platinum God Shard already. Already. So, hey, uh, you can't go... We, yeah, uh, at the end we see it. A yes, bit. yeah, they they literally teased it in the next episode preview for it. So we got it's back like, shots for it. Yep. Okay. Yeah, I'm in the same boat as Ash. I didn't watch this episode, so I'm like, it, 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 when Boojer started, I have not watched Common Rider because I'm like, you know what? We'll get it's, there, Mark. We'll get there. It's once again like Gotcha just following its its formula. It's like I thought it was getting really good, and then they just went back to. The regular okay. state of of Godchard to the point that I'm just like, man, you guys are really making it hard for me to just really be very enthused about this show. Like, it's okay, but it's not like it's not keeping me super super engaged to the point that I'm just like, I'm okay if, if I miss an episode. Of course, I wouldn't. Mm -hmm. I can't because I do like the Twitch streams on Sunday and shit like that. But if I wasn't doing any of that, if I wasn't doing YouTube or anything like that, this would literally be one of those seasons where I'm like, yeah, I'll I'm skip fine it. skipping an episode. Yeah, I'll just catch it when I catch it, that type of thing. But... Is, this show is so unoffensive. It's neither really bad, nor is it incredibly good. It's like, it has its like times where it's above average good, and it has its times where it's just okay, and then when it's just slightly below average. It's not like, it doesn't lean in any one direction dramatically, which is kind of its detriment, because it's so boring that way. I don't think it's boring per se. I just think it's very run of the mill with good moments, but then it's like, but nothing that's like hooking me in where like, you know, sir, like when we talk about geek stuff and even revise for me and like saber stuff, I was like, Oh man, I can't wait till next week. Now it's like one of those. I'm like, Oh, I haven't seen it in two weeks. I'm like, I have good charts still around. Even for like the lows that I had with revise and the lows that I had with, uh, with geeks, it's still, <laughs> I would say that, Maybe even the anger that was that I was feeling towards those episodes still kept me wanting to watch it because I was just yeah. like, "What you gonna fuck up this time, show? Or are you gonna <laughs> fix it up this time? Like that type of thing." Yeah. While here There's it's always just a like, an angle. While here it's like it's very safe. It is like the safest yeah. fucking show. Yeah. I, mm. I don't feel like there is much risk taking at all when it comes to this show in general, and and yeah. that's why I'm like. I'm all right not buying all these Kemi booster packs and shit like that because the show's not keeping me heavily engaged. Yes, to the point that I'm like, I gotta buy all this stuff. Versus, you know, other shows where I'm just like, even though I have like a somewhat love hate relationship with certain episodes, I still bought so much shit for Geats. I still bought so much shit for Revice. Mm. Hell, even when I was watching Saber, I was like, I gotta get that Wonder Ride book. I gotta do it. Like that type of shit. Well, here I got like the two booster packs when the show was not even out yet. And then I'm like, yeah, I don't care. No, that's because there was at least something to keep your engagement going. Like whether or not it was, you know, oh my God, I can't watch this train wreck in slow motion or oh my God, it's actually pretty good. Yes. Yeah. Well, here I'm just like, ah, it's, it's paint by numbers. It is very serviceable. safe show. Plus for me, like with the cards, I'm just waiting because like once I saw how the value went with them, I'm like, oh, so I have all of phase one, two and EX done. And I have like the movie exclusive ones as that. But then I was like seeing the price point. I'm like, OK, for phase three, I got one box. That was it. And like now I'm like, all right, I'm going to wait until the next phase comes out. And then those phase threes are going to be so cheap. I'm just going to get all. So, Huba, are you 
you talking shit about Wonder Ride books? You see this? You see this? This pop up is nice. Wonder Ride books are nice. amazing. Tokyo. Should I bring out my I like entire Saber. box of every Wonder Ride book released? <laughs> like, like these are but, really fucking nice books. Like this was the first one that, like, the second I saw it and I saw that pop out effect, I was like, "I right, somebody give me that Amazon listing. I'm buying that fucking book." Because you got to remember, they they like you open them, they tell you the little story in them, they got the little music yeah. to go with it, and then you you pop them in, and then they open even further. It's like pretty good. Yep. Especially when you get the uh, three Re the Arrow ones that were like the mail aways. So I have like the Showa, Heisei, and Reiwa ones, and you put all three of those on the belt. Oh, it's so good. Yeah. So good. The, I would honestly say, like, the Wonder Ride books, Ray gimmick. Better than Geeks. Is My favorite Reiwa gimmick. I don't have the driver for these. Uh, sadly, I, I, I still. It's cheap. Think. It's like 20 bucks on the car. Yeah. I yeah, know. It really is. I've seen him at Book Off here in the States for like 20, 25 even. I know I you don't want to spend I, money I, on I, it. I, I don't like the driver. It's so, a I, but it's a good display. Or you can get the single, the 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 single unit driver. You know, when I'm not worried about money, I'll get it. Right. Sure. Maybe. That is a good Probably reason. If you want. I literally have just not bought it's... shit. So, oh, just wait until we talk about Boom Boom. Show. We can go over my Toku Debt 2024. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> I'm a hypocrite. So you want to <laughs> you want to do final thoughts because we basically um a final thoughts it was uh, it was your basic like Godchard episode. Eventually I'll do another Godchard catch up, but I'm like uh okay. I mean we even got the lore about the whole X cards and then the two first X cards and then like even getting. Oh, you need all the, need, X cards with, 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 the with the with the ancient alchemy and all that good stuff. Yeah. It's so, so that's uh, that's nice little tidbits. They even went to what looked like Universal Studios Japan just to get that Earth-based one. Yeah, and then they um wow. now now he has all of them and he's opening the door of darkness, which he's doing without the the gotcha drive, which he said he needed. So I don't know what's going on there. I uh, I uh, yeah, clearly it seems like you probably just need any of the drivers, and I mean. Fu is gone. Uh, who took his driver? I don't know. Yeah. Uh, I think his driver went with him, I guess. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, I didn't see... Well, anyone pick up his ring? Did his ring, like, dissolve too? I don't remember. Possibly. I don't know. I don't know how that works. He just made a clone, and the clone can transform. He also made Hotaro have a gold ring, so... Yeah, well, he, I guess that one was... He showed him how to use ancient alchemy, so. Showed him by just giving him the ring. Yeah, it, it wasn't much of a, a showing lesson that we got there. It was just like, hey, there you go. Mm -hmm. So uh, next week we're getting. Um, uh, Zidu says fun. that the preview did show that Gideon stole the Gotcha driver. Oh, he does. Oh, okay. So there we go. That's the All answer. Right. Okay. Great. Sick. Now on to the bigger shit. Which is Boom Boom Jer. Yeah. Why has Sentai been kicking writers' ass for like the past? Yeah. I don't know. Oh. I don't know what they're cooking up, but it's uh it's not generating enough toy sales. <laughs> the only thing Sentai <laughs> the writer has over Sentai. People are loving it, but no one's buying the toys. <laughs> it's about the toys. I don't know. say no one. Crazy. Don't say no one. I'm about to put Super Sentai on a pedestal and all their Look. kids through college. All right, so I gotta say. I was almost tempted to uh, to go back on my word and make a Boom Boom Drew episode to review. Ooh. Oh, I heard that. Yeah. Yep. But, you know, I saw that Ash and Mark's video were actually doing very well for episode two. And I was like, you know what? I'm not going to try and usurp any of y'all's like yeah. thunder by hitting that it'd, algorithm train. That'd be go nice. Right then, you know, go right on it. Because then my video gets found in your algorithm. And yeah, exactly. Yeah. And then don't forget this whole podcast then becomes even more popular. Yeah. Nah, I'm, I'm, so, I'm still going to wait until episode five. <laughs> yeah, but, I was, but the thing is, I was so tempted because this episode was so damn this mm. This set the tone that, that I wanted good. in episode one because episode one, like, you know, was kind of all over the place and shit. This yeah. one was more grounded. The, the comedy was definitely hitting on this yeah. one. Um, 
the villains felt exactly like I thought. They, literally Team Rocket. They, they were mm -hmm. out there talking to their unseen boss that was giving me like OG, like first season uh, Pokemon vibes where Jesse and James were talking to Giovanni and you didn't see Giovanni. You just saw like the under part, like the lower chin and then him petting mm -hmm. Persian, that type of shit. While here, it's just like, nope, you just get yourself a, a voiceover on a still image. You know, that's it. That type of shit going on there. Uh, we, we get them working their their job, essentially, which is, you know, delivering. They're delivering precious cargo to a to a politician. And the whole priority is there in terms of, like, trying to get this, this car. And the thing is, the villains didn't even go out to any regular human and just make their monster from there. They literally just took whatever was lying around where they were at and made... Yeah. The fucking vacuum monster, which all the suck jokes that you can make, all of the suck Everything. jokes, so <laughs> many suck jokes. I was like, oh my god, I could make so many bits with this if episode. Only alone. you are actually making a video. Damn. If only, if only I was too busy doing Selvesa Cristal. Just <laughs> do it. Uh, we we got new girl from the uh, the ISA. Uh, mm -hmm. new chick, but we'll get more expounding on that. We also got the proper opening. Yeah, so, we did. yeah. And it was good. Jewel City I opening. It. It was like it. And the ending. Mm -hmm. uh, the ending is definitely way better than the opening. Really? I did yeah. not enjoy the ending that much. I enjoyed I, the ending. I think it's like uh, Rika Matsumoto's singing voice, because she's... Um, it is. Yeah, it's, she, it depends if you like her tune, depend, depending on oh. how she's doing it. I know, it's just well, the song it's itself. It just gave because me it's a, two goofy vibes. So. It's a it's a dance number. That's the thing. It's oh, yeah, your, your old school. We're well, not really old school because we did this for so many years. Where the ending part for for Sentai was literally a dance routine. Because mm -hmm. we had that. Uh, I swear we had it from Abba Ranger through Maji Ranger. We took a little bit of a a break because uh, Bokanger didn't do it. Uh, Geki Ranger didn't do it. Takuji didn't, didn't do it. No, no. they didn't. They took I, mean, I definitely know uh, Q Ranger did it. Yes, Q, Q, yeah, Tom, yeah, Tom, yeah. Tom, 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 Tom. Q, frost, Q. Frost. Yeah. Gotta do it. Q, Q, Tom. Um, so, so yeah, it's 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 good having those those little dance routines again, and I, I just felt that yeah, that the vibes from that were definitely way better. Then, uh, then the intro, I mean, the intro is good, but it's not, it's one of those, it's like Dombros. It, uh, the, the ending song is just superior, in my opinion. I know, I that love that ending song that they have in the middle of the show, is what I'm curious about. I like that a lot. I'm just waiting for like the OST to drop online, which will happen in like right. you know, about a month or two. So, once that happens, then of course, I'll be able to sample nice little portions of those to use in. In review videos, mm -hmm. get those copyright claims, uh, mm -hmm. not getting seen from all that stuff. But, but the visuals are indeed uh, nice for the opening. Uh, we'll we'll see once we start getting those uh, change that intro things. Not this weekend, but the following weekend. I like giving at least two weeks to breathe before we start like bastardizing the intro with whatever people think might fit with it. So. Is that like a shout out to like bacon or something? Or like, I'm just saying that sometimes people just be throwing specific. in some some very um some let's very name names. Yeah, let's just name yeah. name. No name drop. Yeah, name drop. I mean, there are some very bad songs sometimes. It just they don't be cooking. They don't be cooking mm -hmm. with these. Listen, you gotta up. like prepare. Who do you mean by name. they? Yeah, uh, several folks. Yeah, I'm staying out of this one. I don't Such know where as. this is going. I don't know. Um, I mean, Lookman has failed to cook a few times. Uh, Bacon has failed to cook a lot of times. But some of the times when they cook, they get it right. Yeah. Sometimes. Cloudy made some good stuff. Sometimes. Cloudy has, like, done I don't like have... three. No, I've had more than that. But in, like, the last two months, I think you've only done, like, three total. Oh, yeah. But before then, when I was doing them quite often, I made sure they at least kind of cooked. You can see that I talk like I'm in that stream all the time. I've been to one where you've done them games of themes. I'm, I'm just like, yeah. Oh, oh but, okay. Uh, now I get it. Now I get it. Okay. 
Yeah, where they double over a different theme over the mm-hmm. intro video. Yeah, okay, see then. if it lines up. I was like confused for a second. Yeah, it's a it's a bit that yeah. I do on Twitch that uh, at first we were just. It started off during my took rewind segments where uh, a certain person, John, <coughs> would be like, "I don't want to hear the Bema theme, so I want to skip it." How many points Look do I get to redeem? How many though. hydrates? And then I was just like, you know what? Instead of skipping it, let's just uh, replace it with another song. And then that became change that intro. So mm-hmm. we started changing the the themes. So it would still play the visuals of the themes, but we would see if the music from another show's intro would line up. So that's oh, the entire thing. And that's how we got uh, my YouTube short of reading Rainbow with Kamen Rider Saber. Because yeah. the one time I tried that, I was like, it fits. It surprisingly fits. And Arthur with um with Kamen Rider Force. That's another one. How many times do we see Toretto or whatever? Toretto? Oh, we yeah. saw Toretto so many times. And now Boom Boom. So... But yes, speaking of Boom Boom, Boom Boom Jer, mm. definitely hitting. I'm enjoying the, the characters more now that we've gotten a little bit more easy on it. The, the thing is, it's like the first episode didn't have to go so kind of like bombastic in a way. Mm. And also just throwing shit out there if that because I guess that's the tone of this entire show is like the villains are just there, but we don't get much but the fact that they got introduced to previous episodes like it's okay but they weren't really introduced the last episode they just showed up while here they're mm-hmm. just here so do you want to do but yes do um nah yeah i'm just gonna go into like full thoughts and stuff especially since mark and ash did watch yeah. this yeah. they did yeah. review it so ash i'll start with you what are some of your thoughts what are some of your highlights what did you like? What did you not like about this episode? That type of thing. Oh, shit, it's been a while because I've only watched it once. So, like, what you've been saying, like, we actually get more stuff set up here. Like, they're sort of setting up the world. Like, we're still trying to figure out, like, the backstory for Tyre. Yeah, Tyre? Yeah. Yes, or he's Tyre, got a big-ass yeah. uh, house that looks like big it's... Big-ass um, house. Yeah. Man's and then there's how he met uh, Bun Bun or Boom Boom. Because boom, boom. it's an alien, yeah. It's an alien that just crashed there, and they became friends. And then he says, oh, I've got this dream, and then he just gets cut off. So they're setting up a lot of, like, stuff to be explained later down the line, but the mystery does have you, like, engaged. And then you've got the villains who are working for another villain, which is your Sentai usual thing, but I do wonder, like, how much of a threat is this villain going to be? When are they going to show up? Probably in, like, the second quarter. But... Yeah, I, I, I'm really enjoying this series. Like, there's there's a lot of things to like. Um, I'm not sure what I hate about it so far. I guess we'll see. But so far, so good. I will say what that my it? hesitancy, at least when it comes to, like, it's not really a dislike thing. It's just, like, I see it, and I'm cautious about it, is that this episode introduced more stock footage, fight oh, yeah. portions yeah. of it. And anytime I see that, I'm like, okay, this is only episode two. This is a new, like, visual that we're getting, but it's still done in a stock footagey kind of way. So I'm like, yeah. how many times am I going to see this throughout this show? So it's like, I get it. It's only episode two. This is fresh right now. But I know mm-hmm. how Sentai is. How many yeah. times are you going to repeat this in the course of, like, the next 40-something episodes? No, I get that. Okay. Oh, wait. I will go over one thing I hated. That curry... It made me hungry. Oh, right. Really I've got that on my curry. review. Yeah. Mm. If there's curry in a show, in a toku show, I'm talking about it. Yeah. That looks like, look that looks like some good hung- that looked like some good curry that made me hungry. There are little tires back. on the side. I was like, oh, yeah. I want that. Little egg tires. I made little Mama Igarashi's uh, curry before, and I was going to do a video for it, but I ate it all before I could take any photos or do a video about it. <laughs> you didn't, you didn't make enough to like one. try making a second batch just for the sake of photos. I how many? I had enough for like four eat? portions, and I ate it all. And then I was like, "Oh crap!" I was going to do a video about this. I'm like, oh, how I'm much rice did you consume, or did you just eat the curry? <laughs> Is who? Wait, what are you, my rice accountant? Yes, <laughs> I, I mean that would be me. I would I would just eat the curry. Too many yeah, grains. I, I eat a lot of rice in general, so. That time, man, how many cups? I don't know. I think I made like four cups of rice. 
Nah, you can make it without potatoes. Oh, okay. True. Yeah, but it's going to taste good, though. Yes, because you can substitute it with turnips. Oh, turnips are keto safe? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Wait, so, turnips actually have, turnips like, good. They, they have, like, virtually no carbs. It's weird. What are radishes? Because I love radishes. Uh, radishes, radishes. Uh, have some, but they're still within, you know, portion control. So, mm. it's going in there. But Mark, your thoughts? Um, uh, I loved it. I am enjoying the show so much, and I reworded some stuff when I was talking about it in my video because I was talking about like foreshadowing, but it's not foreshadowing. It's more a lot of seeds are being planted, like you know, Taya's dream. I want to know where his money came from. Yep. Uh, the fact that there's a space mafia, and I'm like, well, if it's a space mafia, there's got to be multiple mafia families. So this could the whole first arc could be this this centralized group, and there could be other aliens that could show up because we also don't know what's going on with Boon Boom or Boon Boon or Boon Darius or whatever the hell robot person's name is, Curry Cooker. Yes, and I'm like, maybe they're, you know, kind of been cast away from their planet because of the space mafia. And I'm like, I want to know more. I also want to know why Ty is rich. Red and I also mafia, like that. That's still yeah. Team Rocket category because Team Rocket was it technically is. a mafia. So mm -hmm. were... I know it was. I mean, that suit Giovanni was wearing, he was definitely mm -hmm. freaking head of the family. Um, another thing I like is uh, the bl blues freaking kind of warming up the pink, but not showing it. Mm -hmm. Yep, like smirking when he walked, like smiling when he walked away, I'm like. That's nice. So we're getting like subtle character growth, but not made. It's like hints are there. Um, you also get orange getting bought off by by yeah. Taya. That was oh, yeah. I yeah. like that. I was like, okay, so this is like his his like handler. He's just like, yo, right. the fact that he bought a whole entire freaking like jump out yard. Like, yep. I was yep. like, ah, oh. I was like, that is great. Now let me get my. Like, the thing I hate about like. This show is because when I like a show, I buy merch. And I bought some merch. What'd you buy? What'd you get? What didn't I? Okay, it's not here yet. It's gonna be here Monday. So I got the magazine, right? And I was like, oh, there's a cool magazine, little scans for the show. But it came with the bus. It came with a, the, 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 the moon trailer, the, the clear color one. And I was like, I wonder what noises it makes. Oh, well, I need the changer for that. Yeah. No, it works with the changer. So I was like, well, I guess I got to order the changer. Oh. But then I found out the changer can attach to the DX Robo. And I'm like, well, I guess I might as well order that too. Yeah. And then I, I think I need to get a changer for that as well. Yeah. So oh, I ended God. up being like, add the current, add the current. So basically everything that's been released so far. Are you going to get the, uh, get the gotcha pans or? No. Oh. No. no. Okay. With the possibly day. most likely honestly i'm not sure I most likely maybe my wallet's already Fine. going for it i had to pay taxes this year and i don't want to go through this anymore can toku be bad can i just not like toku is that like an option uh well uh, if you're watching only writer yes <laughs> with uh with our like the next writer season we'll continue this trend so yeah mm. Listen, I'm at least liking there's one good show consistent. There's one good series consistent. I would ideally like it if yeah. they were both. Also, because I haven't, like, outside of Reiwa, I've, you know, watched some, like, you know, older uh, Super Sentai. As much as I love the first five episodes of King Ogre, because it, like, is basically a movie and continues into each other, I like how simplistic this show is. I like mm -hmm. how just, like, here it is. This is a show. No fancy green screens except for when they're in the Rainbow Road stuff. But like, it's just, I was like, are those real trees? Those are real trees. They're not in a CG area in some weird Sony sound room. I was like, mm -hmm. it's nice. I was like, that breeze, that's a real breeze. That's, that's a real, real shadow. sunshine. Yeah. Yeah. No fans. And I'm liking, uh, I'm liking the suits too. The suits are like, the suits I always liked. The helmets have grown on me now. And I like the fact that the tires on the suits are functional because when cop homeboys being sucked by vacuum, mind you, well, that's still, that doesn't make it sound any better. Um, the tires going in reverse on her, sh on pink shoes. So all she's holding, I was like, ah, oh. I was like, yeah, functionality. Yep. The, and the squeaky really sound that she's pulling him back. Yes. <laughs> that was so cartoony. I just thought of who I, I was Roger dying. When I saw that. 
I was dying so much during that scene. It was yeah, it was so right. damn good. Uh, it's the point where I've uh, I, I contacted someone. I was like, hey, because they're actually making replicas of the suits with the helmets, and I'm like, I was like, uh, what measurements do you need? Because <laughs> I I will rock that to Power Morphicon this year. I will show up as Boon Pink. Boon Pink, okay. I'm going to catfish some people out of money, honestly. I got a lot of Toku merch to buy. I need to start catfishing. Uh, just rock that dancer's belt to tuck the boys in. So oh, yeah. Always. Listen, PSA, if you're not wearing the dancer's belt and you're trying to wear a suit, do yourself that, a favor. Uh, yeah. You don't need I, another I, um, situation. I, I've, I've seen some things when people didn't wear the dancer's yes, belt. Yes. Any, yeah. Anytime you were rocking anything Toku that does not already have like a cod piece armor on there, Get yourself a fucking dancer's belt. Just give everybody. That. I don't care if you're packing or you're not packing. It doesn't matter. No one wants to see it. Nope. Throw them yeah. checks up. The, the worst is San Diego Comic Con. about you. It's in July. Legend. It's hot out here. And a lot of people like to dress up as Spider-Man. And I'm like. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. If, um, that's what I was about to uh, say. Like, that's a skin tight suit. Yeah. And some of them should be wearing dancer belts. Because I'm like, sir, you you should not like. No, no. Look, it, it's easy to tell whether or not you swing to the left or the right in some of these suits. So I'm just yeah. saying. <laughs> yeah. I was impressed with those two where I'm like, "Are you wearing a dancer's belt?" They're like, "No," and I'm like, "Oh, oh, condolences." Yeah. Here's the money. You get one. <laughs> yeah. Damn, that's me. Listen, I'm just saying, you're gonna go out like that with no shame. Like, no, you, you always wear one. Always wear a dancer's belt. And some sort of like protection too, because depending on the color of suits, especially gray and whites, sweat will show. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Not only that, but uh, if you are getting your photo taken, uh, guess what? Part of it's see through. So <laughs> depending <laughs> on the material. So yeah. Mm -hmm. But no, I definitely, I actually want to, um, just given how they are, I kind of like blue the most out of like the suit designs. And I'm like, Especially with the helmet, basically have the helmet because I mean, black and orange only have like shoulder pieces on them, and they're all the same suit. But I yeah. was like, I like blue. Blue's helmet has grown on me out of all of them the most. Oh wait, I gotta ask. Um, you guys have played Kingdom Hearts, right? Yes. Yeah. Did when blue in the like the junkyard fight when blue was sliding and shooting? Did that give you guys like wisdom form vibes from like Kingdom Hearts too? A little uh, bit. That's all yeah. I could think about. A little bit, yeah. I don't remember. No, I, I, I'm still on the rebirth train even though i beat the game but still uh, finished it last night uh, I'm, yeah I'm, two I'm hours on chapter, i'm on chapter i'm on chapter seven um so yeah those are rookie no, no numbers spoilers. get up listen dude gosh, I'm, I need I'm to working. not sleep no you got the quick i was 96 no, hours when i beat the game there's a guy that i knew that used he just like at my previous job where i had the contract he just finished like training like a couple of weeks in the training Tears of the Kingdom came out, and he used up like all his annual leave just to take the week off. Like Tears of the Kingdom, it sounds like me. Oh, God, <laughs> that's crazy! Actually. Can't you just play it on your break? That—that's what I did with T when Tears of the Kingdom came out as well. Like I, I... that was seven, <laughs> and I, a rebirth. I did that with rebirth, and I under—I I underestimated how much time it would take because I was like, oh, three days is enough. Or th well, three and a half days, almost four days, would be enough. No, no, nope. nope. So boom boom jer. Yeah. It's oh, funny. did you what do you think about the the how they how they met Taya and uh, Lou? Very mysterious. I feel like yeah. there's more to that yeah. backstory than what the He, he seems more like he was being a spy trying to like right? break into his place, get all his goods, but then he was confronted by Taya and was just like, "You know what? I like you." Yeah. Yeah. You're good. Work for but me. then again, Ty has got like infinite money, so he could probably buy anybody. Yeah, yeah, true. I hope, like, I hope that's not going to be a solution for like everything. Just buy out everything. Also, also uh, um, pull a Tony Stark on everything. <laughs> Literally, yeah, like, yeah. yeah, I'll just buy you out. Here you go. Is the cop going to be the comedic relief through the whole entire show? Because I'm like, oh, uh, he's going to be the bumbling like idiot. He's the Bob cop. Brady. Well, he's, he's Bob. Brady. Yeah, I saw that in your review, and I instantly was like. If he says nothing to see here at all, I'm gonna lose it because that's like you could start using that clip in your <laughs> reviews. 
<laughs> I mean, he's uh, he is supposed to be the comedic relief, from what I understand about the show. These yeah, characters. I know. I'm mad I got that all wrong in our predictions because I was like, man, I would have liked it if we had like an older seasoned cop in there because yep. I don't think we're gonna have any older characters now. I, I think I think that's gonna be that new chick that they got sl like slightly introduced that we saw in the intro, the Trey chick Ed. from from mm -hmm. the ISA. Uh, Waiting. She she seems to be that grizzled detective type deal, mm -hmm. which I'm also getting like. It, there's a lot of slight Dombros vibes that I'm getting from this, and that's another one as well because she kind of reminds me of like Haruka's aunt, who also was a cop and mm. very seasoned at that as well, yeah. and she played her role well. So she could see uh, he was a good guy. Yeah. So we could see that. We'll just have to see how her dynamic ends up playing playing into the whole bit. Uh, the part that murdered me at the end was just finding out what the precious cargo was that they oh, were yeah, carrying to the yeah, politician. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Bro was a weeb simp just out here. <laughs> what was it, it was Momotron? a photo Momotron? that he took of an Momotron? idol. Momotron. Yes. Momotron, right? Yes. Yeah. And I, though, I fucking died. I fucking died when they showed it. And then I had to have someone in Discord server like quickly get on their PC and make their own fucking meme of the bit. And I was just like, I hate you, but you're so right. And uh, this is what what they did. Ah, so true. <laughs> That's so true. Accurate. And I'm just like, you son of a bitch. You're right. You're right, you're right though. But you're right, though. <laughs> so it makes sense. I don't know who made that, but like, thumbs up to you. Made that shit hella quick. And I was like, okay, yeah. hold on. I. Out <laughs> uh, here, just uh, man, Subasa can go kick rocks. <laughs> right. It's it's honestly that ending is what made me really be like, okay, this is the show because that yeah. swerve and the yes. humor of it. I was like, this is gonna be a fun show. I'm sold. That's yeah, what I'm got me going. Like, oh, now I really want to review this episode so fucking bad. All the suck jokes and then this bit at the end. Oh, it's so good. Just and I was think like, ugh. Just think when you do the recap three more weeks from now, you have enough time to film and edit a lot of suck jokes. Yeah. Well, it depends how much other ammunition are these other like episodes going to give me. It could be an hour long nope. recap fucking nope. like review. What if this week's episodes, it's a fan monster? Yeah. And it just wants to blow. Yeah. You know, just and, well, that line alone. It's going to break wind. Blow, for sure. Yeah. And chat is right. They said, "Where's the red lady version?" And Marzi said, chat. "I'll be with Mark, hundred percent." Yeah, I can't. Uh, apparently, me and Red Lady have too much in common to the point. If I just post a picture of me with Red Lady, people are like, "Why is Zio on there twice?" Oh, <laughs> where'd you where'd you get the the chest upgrade from? <laughs> that kind of thing. Happy on purple for two dollars says that was the best of the episode. Was that? Yeah, th that's right. Th that whole picture scene. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, I I I stopped. I laughed. I had to go back replay the scene again because that shit was just too goddamn funny. Thank you, Papillion Purple. That was really. It was such. A... <sighs> it was unexpected. It, it's just oh, like, yeah. what are you delivering to a government official that's this important? This fucking it's... photo. Yeah. That is how you get peace. No, listen, he nation. can't let those get no, out. Okay. If they get out, you know, oof, that's him. That's his, his spot right there. I mean, they could have said that. The same you know, he, he had a, maybe he had like a wife or something. It's like, oh, they, she can't find out that I took a picture with, with Momochan. Mm -hmm. That type of thing. But we don't know. We don't know. So. I hope there's a delivery in every episode, too. Like, I really like this whole transporter and like all the different variety to it. Plus we get to see orange, like kind of be his obtainer of things mm -hmm. for and a small nominal orange. percentage. Yeah, yes. Top, he gets honestly. that commission fee. Orange is all about the money. And when the dollar amount is already so high, that commission fee must be great. Cause we yeah, didn't even see how much money he cut for that, that junkyard. 
to be that quick, was smiling. He was to just abandon it, it had yep. to be a, above market value. Well above. How many zeros were on there? No commas. We need to know how he makes his money because it can't be from this delivery. I'm telling you, it's got to be imagination dollars. I mean, I'm in the camp that it, that it's imagination. Like after he met Boom Boom, he'll break it, the market. You know, they they did say in the original press conference and like the detailing that it all has to deal with like creality and and stuff like that, like imagination hey, type shit. And I'm just like, I'm ah. thinking that and and given what's been presented crypto. in the show, he, yes, he's a crypto bro. Yeah, and NFTs, imagination and crypto. stuff. Yeah, no, definitely. Because there's folks, it's like, oh, he was just already a rich boy. It's just like, if he was already that rich, people would have known of him already. Like a Bruce Wayne situation. Everybody knows Bruce Wayne. Because yeah. yeah. they knew that he was a rich boy. If Ty was already that rich and came from like a rich family, everyone would have known his ass. But from the looks of like episode one, you know, uh, Mira did not know who he was. Like okay. I would think it's like one of the richest people in Japan would be well known. Maybe so, he has like one of those like companies that's like has no like head or like you whatever you call it, like you know, it's anonymous, whoever the head is, so no one can connect him to yeah. it yet. He's just selling boon fudgeable tokens. Boon boon <laughs> coin? Oh great. Yeah, they yep, just man. look like the boon changes, yep, like the ones that you see in the corners. Oh, so there's your BBC, your the boom boom coins. Yes, the Boom Boom Coins, the BBCs right there. Hashtag BBCs. Hashtag BBCs. There you go, Mark. You got it. Yep. Momo Chan would not approve of this. Uh, I think she would approve of some, some hashtag oh, BBCs. I'm just... <laughs> well, Give it to him. Gonna... Right, Minister Joe. I'm going to I'm going to let that one go. But yes, uh, Boom Boom Jr. definitely is uh, is him the mark. It's, it's like... Um, Pretty much what we had with King Oja previously, where it's like I was I enjoyed the first episode of, of King Oja, but the second episode was definitely way better. And here I was just like I was cautious about it, but then the second episode way better. Here's hoping that they can oh, yeah. keep the, the train up. And it, like it's kind of too early to say because there's already going people telling me, well you're probably going to have the same thing that you had with Dombros, where in the beginning, like I did rate episode one of Dombros a B because I was very cautious about everything in there, but it ended up being like peak show for me. And if Boom Boom Jerk stays the course, it could potentially be a very peak show. We'll just see. Oh, I have a redaction to make. I said King Oja was like number one on my list of Super Sentai. And I was thinking about it. It's not because Die Ranger is still number one. Yeah, Die Ranger is a great series. Get that. That range is great. That, that range yeah. was my number one for so many years. Dude, I meant thinking about those suits way more than I should. Those suits are so fucking good. The sexy ass suits. But, but if this show stays like this, and we get some serious moments, but this pacing and this humor and like how the balance of everything is, this could be a top five for me. And then See, I'll I be exactly what, ten. I, I think that's why like your consumption of uh, of Dombros was wrong because of course you consumed it like you know. <sighs> An no. addict, just like Dude, let me get all of this. Like, oh my god, me. you're ODing on Dombros. You weren't I'm dealing with it with, with a palatable, like once per week yeah. dosage. So, boom, if Boom Boom Jr. does go like the slight Dombros route, but then of course you're digesting it on a week to week basis, yeah. I can see that. So, Dude, I'm we'll still see. have the side effects of King, of freaking Don Brothers like that. That was and that was how long ago, like a year, still just like. But those were the vibes that I was definitely getting with, from, oh man, no. with this episode. They were throwing in some of those aspects in there to the point I'm yeah. like, ooh, this is mm, this hitting the right notes. Mm. Yeah, I think, Do you think it'll keep up is, the flow, like, though. I don't think this is gonna get outlanders like Don Brothers and be like that, like out there where this seems like it's gonna be a little more Bro, we had we suck focus. jokes in Dick. I mean, not Dick. In, episode <laughs> Wait, two, in Dick two. In, in Dick two, they we got it. The that's, what we're, that, that's what we're calling every uh, boom boom your episode is. Uh, this, oh, is it. this is Dick three. Stick it in there. So, mm. so uh, yeah, hilarious. Yeah, D two. Mm -hmm. D two next time. D three. 
I wouldn't um, that, but... th- then we'll move on to the, like the the specials. We'll get the DVs. We'll get the animated say, specials. The one thing I generally that I do hate is that everyone like everyone keeps talking about the sixth, and it's like, bro, we're two episodes in. Can like we just yeah? We, well, welcome yeah. to this yeah. fifth yet. Like welcome to Sentai. Yeah, w- welcome to the Sentai works. fandom. This is how they right. always are. Anytime it's we start exciting. a show, they're always like, "Let me get new thing." Once you Where's get that, new, once they get the six, they're gonna be like, "Now let me see that power up, bro." Stop. We even we got Jiro really early. I think with Dombros too, right? We like, we did. We got him earlier well, than I wanted. Well, this yeah. Yeah. So I'm like, guys, you're at like a minimum. Waiting twelve episodes for potential signs of a six, maybe even longer to like the twenties. Mm. Yeah, people I'm... just uh, can't enjoy like the moment that we're in, even... and just keep wanting new thing. We don't even have yeah. the other two Rangers yet. The... We don't even that, that's why Gotchard keeps yeah. getting new forms because people right? are just like, I want to see new thing. All right, here's a new form. I kind of don't like it. Well, guess what? Here's another new form. With all the fucking cards they have in Guitar, they didn't need to do upgrade forms. They still could have did combinations for quite some time. But instead, they're like, let's do some more power-ups. Let's do some more. Let's make that short girl that, no, make her. And honestly, the fact that she got taller instead of staying the same height as Dread kind of upset me. I saw the video clip of it, and I was like, no. I want pocket-sized Dread to fight. (laughs) Yeah. Like I that's dreadful. what I want to see. I want a little Give dread. Me what... little yes. Dread. Like can you imagine just holding the arm out, just a swing and it can't reach. And it's like, ah, oh, that's so cute when it's angry. And it's and yes, we we boom. know the rumors going around in terms of the next boom boom jer being like boon violet and stuff like violet. that. We, we've yeah. been hearing that since like we've talked about it already on here as well. But that's the thing. It's like people just want new thing as soon as you get new thing they want newer thing they're never satisfied with what you just got they just want to keep moving on and it's just like you'll never be satisfied at that rate that's part of the reason why like it just will never work out in, in was, for some people's satisfactions was it like boom violet like uh, a theory like even before we even the show even came out yeah yes oh yeah no everyone's talking about green or uh, purple now they're gonna say violet and then before orange got leaked, everyone was saying it was going to be orange. And they're going to orange part core five. And then like, oh, it might be yellow. And I'm like, everyone just shut up. Like, just let I want to know what kind of vehicles going. we're going to get. Because we're getting a, a new we, car next one. We'll have one construction vehicle. I need four more. I need Devastator to show up. <laughs> I mean, the people that are wanting like this new thing before we even settle on new, new stuff. Well, the current stuff. What I say to you is. Just buy the toys at least six times over. So that way you can warrant these shows continuing. Uh, I then don't maybe maybe they... want to do that. <laughs> well, I'm talking <laughs> to the other folks, the folks the that people who uh, consume product without buying product. I'm not stop. Like spirit bomb stop. Like, lend me your money, lend me your sales figures. Let's get let's buy stuff. And then we're like, as cool as it is like fun to theorize about like the potential six, it's like it's the disappointing aspect of why do you care so much? Like we still have a lot of show to cover, and once you do know, you're not gonna care about it because you. It's like we know. haven't you even I mean? gotten introduced to all the characters yet. Yeah. Sure, we've seen a little yeah. bit of orange and a little bit of black, but we haven't seen them to the point of knowing who they are as characters. We're literally at episode two. Chill the fuck down. Yeah. It also kills also, if you know it more way ahead of time. First. It kills the vibe. Like we oh, knew about curry, King Caucasus Pauca- Castle ages ago. And kind of killed the Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. Forgot that. Oh, God. Hey, 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 the fucking uh, king. Yeah. We king, know about king Godard and, and we know about the Godard know- and Legend final forms. It's yes, we know about black. Rainbow and and ugly. Lion thing. Yes. Yeah. It's gross. Still gorgeous Godchart. I mean, gorgeous Legend. No, gorgeous Godchart should have been better because then you get the double G's in there. Mm. Yep. GG. GG, but uh, but yeah, that's the the problem with social media. I'm glad I'm not a part of any of those circles currently because yeah, I would have gotten annoyed. I was already annoyed with that with Don Bros, so I did not. Uh, I'd left it already by the time that King Oger had gotten too into things to the point of seeing like the speculation for what they had for um for Spider Kuminos and shit like that. So 
yeah, it, it just enjoy what you got. And then once you get new shit, it's, it's better for, for me. I personally enjoy like when these shows don't tease a new writer in a preview or like tease a new Sentai in the preview. And then it just happens. Like when we got Jin in, uh, mm -hmm. in fucking Geats, cause that wasn't in the preview. And we just saw it happen. It was like, oh shit, this wasn't any magazine scans. It just showed up. It's great. Yep. Uh, I kind of same with Fire God Chart. If it wasn't already like everybody's YouTube thumbnail by the time I got around to it. Yeah, it would have been nice to just like let because like you the shows they like they they do a good job of like drip feeding and doing their own drip marketing anyway. So it's like stop hunting for things that's gonna ruin it for everyone else. Yeah. But uh, uh, yeah, Bo Boomer just needs to keep doing what it's doing. And uh, it'll be okay. Just, yeah. I, I think because the the head writer's writing style is literally just doing a lot of episodic content for years at a time. I don't. It, it might be too early to say this, but I don't feel that Boom Boomger will be one of those shows that will burn its load too early. Because right now, in terms of like full story. There really isn't like an overarching narrative for us to follow like King Oger set up because King Oger definitely was very narrative driven to the point that it kind of fell into that hole. Dombros was one of those shows that was not very narrative driven. It was character focused. So because of that, every episode was a ride. I feel that Boom Boom Jerk could follow the same suit uh, where, yes, it will be episodic and that might not be everybody's cup of tea. But if they keep it to the point of I guess the, the biggest thing is where you can jump in at any point in time in the series, watch an episode and just enjoy it for what it's presenting for you, then it's done its job right. And that's one thing that I give Don Bros credit for. It's one of those shows where you don't really have to know what the hell's going on prior to the episode that you're watching. You just watch it and enjoy the brain rot. Boom Boom Jer could be that show as well. Hey. Quick question for you guys. Like, there's just an open question. What do you think it would next Rider series? This is not like me trying to predict anything ahead of time, but what would it need for it to be like this good? Like, what what do you think? Like, what what is Rider missing now? Like, do you think they should go like slightly goofy? Do you think they should go more serialized no. tone? Or, like, um, do do, think? my thing is, I feel that Common Rider should always be a counterbalance to its superhero time counterpart. If <laughs> If Sentai is taking itself seriously, then I can understand why Kamen Rider would take itself goofy. Vice versa. If if Sentai is taking itself goofy, then I can understand Kamen Rider taking itself more serious. I don't want both shows to have the same exact flavor on a singular superhero time aspect. So if Boom Boomger is going to play a little bit more of a, of a comedic Batman shit going on, then... I would hope that the next writer season would be a show that takes itself a little bit more, more serious. True. But I th I'm, uh, I'm just curious, like, what do you think like the next show needs like to be good? You know what I mean? Blade. Well, the thing is on the other aspect of things, there's, there's two definitions of good because there's good in financials and there's good in terms of viewership ratings. The two don't exactly have to correlate with each other because as, you know, I would say as slightly above mid as Godchart is, it's still raking in the dough. Yeah, because the cards. And as great as Boom Boomger might be, and King Oger was, they didn't make no money. Yeah, the revenue wasn't there. It's just one of those things where I'm just like, I'm curious as to like, because honestly, I would love like a minimalistic writer show for the next one. But there's no way we're going to get it because they're going to want to sell toy after toy after toy after toy after toy. Every single second. And I will buy second. toy after toy after toy after toy. One thing I would like to see in Ryder that I have not seen in a bit um, is just a proper sequel series. Give us a sequel to a previous show. Like set Sometimes within the universe of a previous show blade I like blade i heard you i heard i could hear mark screaming blade inside his head 
Where the thing is, like, you can have a new cast of characters and things like that, but it takes place within the universe of a previous writer show, and they let you know that that is the case, as there might be a shared enemy. And, um, but there is, like, once again, it's a fresh show you can go in without having seen the previous show. Because, of course, if they let enough time pass between the shows, and, you know, they can let that shit slide. But then you could get those cameos showing up within the show that for those that watched the previous show would be like, oh my God, really? Uh, shit, they're doing it. They're bringing them back so-and-so. It could work. Mm, okay. Uh, mm. But yeah, Toku Punk, yeah. I do agree. Uh, not a, well, the thing is, they could make a sequel to like, but then just not have it focus on like the, the undead or anything like that. Um, it could be that it starts off being a completely different writer show. But then, like, by the halfway point, they find out that this all stems because two Jokers still exist in the world. And then that's when you go, like, wait, what? What's going on here? Two Jokers. It's like a lot of work. You know, like, we could just put some titties in Kamen Rider. That's something they could always add that'll make it more training. It's a, it's a Sunday morning show. But for, for the uh, Yeah. I'm sorry. It, I don't limit my... You're, you're looking at Gyro. Yeah, yeah. If, like, if this was a, you know, 1 a.m. Friday show... Garo is spoiling everybody, okay? Garo and everything else. This is spoiling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I, 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 Listen, I've, been, I've been living in the Garo world since, like, it first premiered. Oh, I know. Oh, I know but I'm just saying, like, current Garo... Now we get on YouTube with yes. the subs. It's just like, man, so... Yeah, and so last week we had... Full red lady action. It was it was great, amazing. She had proper spoken dialogue for more than like two seconds. I need a 4K release of that show on Blu-ray. So, um, well, the thing is, so for Common Writer, it's like, yes, yeah, since it is a Sunday morning show for for kids, sure it does skew to an older audience, but this is like teens, teens and tweens. Is essentially what Common Writer is geared towards. It's teens and tweens and their moms that are there, like, ooh, I like him, that type of thing. And then sometimes the dads will pop in going, like, ooh, who's that on there as well? Because I will be yeah. looking at that, that type of stuff. Uh, if you want, family. if you want the full, like, maturity type thing, then it's got to be one of those shows that goes yeah. on, like, Amazon Prime Video, like we got with Amazons and what we got with Black Sun and. You know that kind of shit. I don't like either. I didn't like either of those. I actually don't like Common Rider when it's like overly serious, mature, and dark. Like Shin well, Common Rider aside, for for well, the thing is Shin Common Rider still had like its comedic moments within yeah. its its seriousness as well. <laughs> while Amazon's definitely leaned towards its more seriousness, yes. while uh, Black Sun leaned towards Being very serious, serious and too. very. That current day type thing, it already like aged bad because of like what it tried doing. Yeah. No, I kind of like I kind of like my like like I always say Blade is one of my favorite shows. S tier, this that, but like things mm -hmm. like Ghost, Forza, Wizard, even like there's they weren't always like there's a balance to it. I'm okay with even like Guitar how it is from a tone, not a pacing standpoint. Like, I'm okay with shows not being either overly humorous or overly serious. With the way Boon Boonder is right now, I could see how if you have to walk the show back to back, it's like, oh, here's one, you know, overly outlandish, funny, super sentai. Now here's a very comedy-driven Kamen Rider. But it's like, I don't know. I don't think yeah. Kamen Rider... There's nothing I could like pinpoint specifically that I'm like, I would add this to Kamen Rider, and it would make it better every time, because... It has to be based off of characters, and what the show is is what we added. What would work with Gachard to make it better would not have worked with Geats. Yes, or yeah, I mean, I mean, they're all different flavors in the way that they set yeah. themselves up. And for like the sake of Amazon's, Amazon's, I really enjoyed season one. Season one was like really good season. It's once they came out with that second season that uh -huh. it was like, oh, what are you doing? No, it, it, it's yeah. No, season no, I, like, guard. So yeah, season one caught me off guard as well. I didn't know it'd be that good. Season two had some really good moments, like the backstory episode. I thought that was pretty cool. Well, the reveal before the backstory episode, I remember that. But mm. yeah, season one of Amazon is so fucking good. It's like I tried making my it's old peak. roommate watch it's it. It's very good. 
Yeah, yeah. It sucks that they took it off Amazon's. I'm going to have to get my ticket machine out so I can be like, hey, watch this. Wait, it's not on Amazon yeah. anymore? No, it's not. No, Amazon is not on Amazon. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if they just had a, a limited, like, yeah. release of it or contract with it. So it might have been that, That's like a limited weird. contract. Um, I think, you know, the worst part about Amazon's, it could have ended with just season one and I would have been satisfied. Yeah, no, I'm the same. This one was good. I didn't like season two. So as a whole, Amazon's, I was like, I got to wait. And as a show, season one and two and two for me was. No. Nah. Well, 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 the thing is, there, there was a gap between season one and season two. It's not like they aired it like back at the same back. time. Because I, I, yeah. yeah. I was watching it I when it first aired. It was a thing. It was, yeah, major it, was a thing. Yeah. it was already out. So I was like, oh. Yeah. yeah see, I watched this as it, it was coming out. And I was like, oh, this is scratching an itch. I've not had in a while. Like that type of thing. So like season one was great. And then, like, I, I think it was, like, six months, a year before we got season two, that type of thing. And then we got season two, and I was like, okay, who are these new characters and stuff like that? And I was like, wait. Once I found out, like, he was the son of Jin, and I'm like, but how? It's only been a couple years. What the fuck? Yeah, and it's and literally he like, oh, really quickly yeah, he just aged stuff. really quickly. And I was like, that's kind of okay. Oh, and then don't forget, um, then we got the movie, which I like the I end of the I, movie. I actually did not I even like, watch the movie. I was so... I like the movie. Eh, about season two that I did not even touch the film. The movie was actually, in my opinion, I thought it was good, but I specifically really enjoyed the ending of the film. I don't hear a lot of people talk about the movie when it comes to Amazon. It's like season one, season two, people talk about. But with season two, like I know Zio said you watched it weekly, um, mm -hmm. but I did binge it, so maybe I enjoyed season two a little bit more than you, because mm -hmm. um, I did binge it and like. A couple of days compared to like when you were probably ticket machining it like week to week yeah and i mean the the, the way that amazon is structured is similar to black sun where like they end almost every episode with like a cliffhanger to like oh yeah you gotta catch this next episode get type thing. Zone playing at the end yes where, oh, where yeah, they, it, it, it's like very catchy it's just like oh man i gotta see what happens next but then you gotta wait and it's just like oh but i gotta see it and it's good it was all yep. good every time and then uh, you know, Black Sun was its thing, and it was it was okay, it was good, it was not great, but yeah. I know someone asked like, what comedy bits for for Shin Comrade? Like, did you not see like uh, his motorcycle walking behind him as he was like riding? You know that, <laughs> okay, that, that shit was, that shit was hilarious. And, and, and then oh, when, when we were looking, people walking behind them, and then they what? like snap back. And when we were looking at like uh, the. The <laughs> the body bags and we just see Shinkai and Red's face. They're just smiling. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that was kill me. That shit was funny. If minus one hadn't come out, that would have probably been my favorite. That would have been my movie of the year. So, uh so there there's various different aspects, but I I mean I can't see a a show that is coming on regular broadcast being that serious i think the most serious writer has been in a bit was the beginning of geats the beginning of geats it's literally mm -hmm. it I, I won't even talk about the rest of the geats i'm just saying like the beginning of geats where it felt like there was, was the proper stakes well, i'm, I'm in, recent memory, in, in, re in recent memory okay, okay one that took itself seriously you felt like there were stakes like that uh because of course it was playing the um the the whole uh, Yes. While well, I was thinking of Better Rail, Better Rail the, the, sorry. While well, I was thinking of the one show, I already forgot the name of it because I didn't watch it. Um everybody else watched it. Um Squid Games. Squid, Squid Games, Games, yes, that's it. Yep. I never watched it. When something's too popular, I tend to be that that hipster guy that's just like, I'm not gonna watch it. maybe go back now that the hype for Squid season Games. Season two's gonna be coming out soon, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Maybe the I... hype for like go back and watch Squid Games like season one. Because yeah. I think that was like the last show on Netflix that popped me going, holy shit, I got to see how this turns out next. Yeah. Um, yeah, that was... Yeah. I binged it, so I didn't even know it was like big on... Because... Like, yeah, no, no. I, I didn't have a lot of well. Netflix stuff like blocked on like keywords because I'm tired of people always talking about like Netflix clickbait stuff online. So I didn't even know mm. like people were losing their shit that much until like I started seeing like merch at Walmart and Target for it. And I'm like, y'all yeah, got figures? Or a Netflix show? I, I just kept seeing it in my um like trending now page. I was like, well, I might as well watch it. And I had no idea it was like a Korean show or anything like that. Yeah. 
Look, when it comes to um, Netflix, I normally watch trash shows on Netflix, such listen, as like Love right. is Blind or my oh, yeah, my <laughs> wife has been watching that, and I'm just like, what are you watching? Love is Blind. I'm like, you're, you're, I wish I was. <laughs> like I don't want to see oh. this. No, hey, that, yeah, it's, it's such a train wreck. It's so good because it's. Yeah. Such a... They did, however, cancel one of the best newer shows I've seen called The Brother's Son. Oh no, they're not. Re- they're good. not doing a second season. I was. So Wait, they're mad. not. But that's such a good show. No. It's they like said because of low Chinese viewership. Brothers. It's so good. Six point five million is low viewership. I'm like, I know. And NCIS is not pulling five million views a week anymore. I know nine one one is not pulling seven million views a week yet. Those shows don't. But Netflix is like, oh, we got to save money. Let's cancel original shit. That's disappointing. Is that that show? Was yeah, I know that was a great show. Yeah, you was, should watch it if you haven't seen it. It's pretty. And I don't like I don't like watching a lot of shows. Look, now that I'm done with movies. Rebirth, I can go back to watching Love Is Blind. So yeah, but you did know. you platinum it though? Yeah. I'm not. I'm. I'm not even gonna try to platinum it. I'm almost okay. there. I'm almost there. I just look, gotta do hard look, missions. What? Once I saw that the final, like, the final quest, the final side mission was go back to Golden Saucer and get the top score in all the hard mode and all these mini games. I said, "Fuck you, no, hell, no." I, I did what I did. I I got like number one in the gold Chocobo Cup. You know, all that stuff that I need to do for these other... Why do I got to play these mini games again? Like, that's the one thing that I hate Rebirth for is the mini games. And that one dungeon with Kate Sith can go eat a bag of dicks. But where you have to games... throw the crates. Yeah. Fuck that. Yeah, Fuck that. Mini games are a part of the second disc. That's the whole thing. There's so many mini games in the second disc. Yeah. It's too many. I, I had no problem. Like, I did all the same missions so unnormal. And I'm like, oh... These are fun. These are easy. The motorcycle one, easy. Chogo races, easy. Light work. 3D brawl. Explain the low sales. It's PS5 exclusive. That's the low sales. That's literally it. Yeah. And also the fact that a lot PC, of people out. that now have them are going back to finally play the first one. So. Because I have a friend who's just now playing Remake because he just got a PS5. And I was like, good. I was like, call out of work for a month and play both back to back. Now we gotta wait three to four years for. What did you prefer, by the way, remake or the first one? Because I maybe in the Ooh. unpopular camp, I like the first one more. From wait, a did you actually standpoint? play Rebirth, Cloudy? Because yeah, last time you have not. You were... No, I was playing a bit of it. A bit. So I've only played it? to chapter three. I only have chapter three. Now that don't <laughs> count. You didn't play the game yet. Well, so far I'm liking the first one more. Like it just feels better. Look, I, I'm not gonna get into spoilers, point. but like. It. There's there's a certain thing once you get to like that final fight, which the final fight took like an oh, hour to fucking go through because it's like right. when the PlayStation when you when you hit the PlayStation button, it tells you how much time is left on the chapter. It said two plus hours. I was like, and it was already eleven forty five last night, and I was like, I got work in the morning. I was like, well, if it's chapter, but I can't this, just pause it. Being as this is and, chapter like the second disc, I can imagine what the final fight was. But I'm guessing. Oh no! You can't imagine what the final fight was. Nope. Nope. No, for sure. Okay. Not the final way. fight has so many layers. I was so many I layers. I was and, and you know what? You know what got me mad, Mark? The final, final, final fight of it. I I died. <gasps> All right, I died when he had when he had a sliver of health. When I restarted, I was like. Four or five fights back, and I was like, "No, that's like thirty minutes of fighting. I gotta do again." <laughs> I was so <laughs> fucking so, mad, and of course, because they the give you those cutscenes, but the the, the the cutscenes are in yeah. fight, so you can't skip them. I was like, "Oh, I was so mad." All right, I'm I think back. that's well, it's... Hey, I mean, we're not spoiling. Yeah, okay, we're just... good, good, good. This has nothing to do with remake at all, really, from anything that happens in the game. I've never been a big Final Fantasy VII fan. I thought it was all right when it came out. It was. I'm a six fan myself. Far so. su- eight is far superior. That's just me. But uh, for some reason, I guy. care more about this seven world more than I did playing the original seven. Oh, like, I didn't care. Like I had no investment in the original seven. This time, I'm like. My my first introduction to seven characters was through Kingdom Hearts because I didn't grow up playing the Final Fantasy games. Oh, okay. At least it wasn't Advent Children the movie. I like the design. It, it was after that because I didn't oh. know. 
Yeah. But I will say that the, the final fight has some moments and there's like two moments in particular for the final fight that I was like creaming myself. Because it was just welcome to good. the uh, Final Fantasy Rebirth. So, so that's all I'll say, with, with, without like TV saying with the what happens. Headphones. The thing is, if you played a little bit of it, you can kind of already know what could happen. And I'm just like, oh, y- y'all did it! Y'all making dreams happen. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll print out my guess machine. So now I need an eight remake. We need an eight remake. That's what we once, need. Once they're done with that, yes, so. I, I do prefer well, eight over the creator, myself. The creator, the director of eight, actually did an interview and he said, "Well, if we were going to do a remake like seven, I'd overhaul the junction system and make some changes." I was like, "No, you but won't. Yeah. You don't. The junction system you is don't. broken. It's broken. I need the draw system. So right outside of the first garden, I draw a whole bunch of water. You will and then become I'm okay overpowered. For overpowered. Two it's not fun. It's not fun. It already had a card game." Like side quest in there too. They could, yes. they yeah. could do it again. Uh, Triple triad like is like one of the best. So much. That's, that's peak. But apparently, the next remake that's coming out is nine. So I, yeah, I, nine. I never yeah, finished nine. So I, I, I thought that was oh, that's the one with Zidane. It's really good. Confirmed. No, that was that was part of like uh, the big Giga leak that happened a couple years ago when pretty much a lot of those things from the Giga leak ended up being true. Trust me when I say this. Oh, nine is probably one of the good. underrated ones. That that game is good. Ah, I don't know. I've I've been seeing. I didn't like nine. Many people like really stuck like, in that one. Without nine BV was... and all that stuff. Yep. Like it. VV was so obnoxious and annoying. You... They force fed us VV. I'm like, oh god, he's a black mage. Who cares? She was he in an orphanage with a whole bunch of other people. She no. She yeah. I don't care. VV. I don't uh, care. VV is a, a horrible oh. character. I've never even finished nine, so I didn't even know. I got to the all right. So steering the ship back to Toku. Yes, I hate this Uh, so much. Yeah. So in case you didn't know, if you've been living under a rock for like the last two days or so, um, there is a contest going on right now when it comes to deciding the next legend writer cards. You can go ahead and go to it right now if you don't have access to the website. Guess what? It's in the description. Of this video, you can go ahead and click it, get on here. Uh, So you can go ahead and choose potentially, or at least vote for, the next writer that has not already gotten a legend card announced. And you can vote pretty much three writers per day. It is completely in Japanese, but guess what? You can still translate some of the shit that you're doing. So it's like... On the wiki. Yep. Or you can just have Google Translate handy. So the way that it works is you go on this website... You pick based off of the season that you want to pull a writer from. So if they premiere it on like one of their films or something like that, you would click on them. Uh, so, for example, one of the picks that I picked was Common Writer Arc from the Kiva film. So what I did was I went on Kiva. And they give you the list of writers, but... You're like, ah, I can't read Japanese. I don't know what any of this means. That's what I just highlighted. Take it to Google Translate. Paste that some bitch. There you go. You get what you got. You got Kiva Guru form. You got Basha, Doga, Doga Baki. You have Kiva Flight Slate. F- fuck that one. Uh, eat. <laughs> it's the save mode. You get Rising Ixa. You get Saga. You get Ray. You get Ark. And I was like, well. I voted for ARC, so ARC's down at the bottom. going to click on that, submit my vote. Click right here. This strictly is for Cloudy. Cloudy, they have Jack form for Garen and Blade, but then Chalice and Wild Chalice as options. Because I know Cloudy likes those forms. Is Cloudy still here? Oh, what heresy are you speaking while I'm not around? So... Of course, people, um, you got your you get your three votes in for today was like the first day of voting. So who all did everybody in the chat vote for? And uh, look, I'll just give my picks for who I voted for first. Um, sadly, there's no Kamen Rider G. I was like, where the fuck is Kamen Rider G? There's no Kamen Rider G in this. That was going to be one of my votes. Couldn't pick him. Couldn't pick him at all. Uh, so I got Orga in there as one of my, my votes. I got Ark in there from Kiva. I got Sentry in there from the Revice movie because Sentry's a really nice suit as well. And I'm just like, Sentry needs some more love. It's a Sentry recent suit. suit. 
So those were my three picks for today. So those were the ones that I had. Aqua was going to be one of the ones that I picked, uh, Mega Dong, but I was like, ah, maybe tomorrow. So, Cloudy, uh, did you vote? Nope. Are you going to vote? Probably later today. Uh, who are going to be your three picks? Uh, Sentry, Akiva, and most likely Kabuto. Kiva, but Kiva's already here. Oh, wait, sorry. You, you got to pick oh, a writer right. that doesn't already have a Kemi card. Oh, right. Sorry, my bad. I don't know. Uh, definitely Sentry. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what else I would want. Mm. I don't want Necrom. Necrom, I don't like the suit for Necrom. Really? What do you guys I think like about it. Necrom? I, I like it. The, it's it's the face, the head on face that I don't like. Yeah. I like green. I do like green. Uh, let me see what we got here. The problem is, I also don't know what cards have been confirmed not getting a card yet. And boy picked uh, Punk Jack, Zero Nose, and Transformed Akira from Hibiki. Crazy Orb picked Letter. Really? Letter. The, letter? the, the chick that thought she overate a lot and needed to lose some weight in fucking Geats. Okay. Uh, Necron Pink. Uh, but it didn't let me vote for a third time. Ooh, that means that you may have double voted for someone or get yourself a VPN. You can vote as many oh. times as you have different uh, locations. Oh, if you don't get I may have to do that, I'm going to have to do that and refresh the VPN. And uh, cause I did vote out. like five times oh. each for each of my nominees today by just swapping VPN locations. Oh, right. but then I, I got tired of doing it. So I'm going to stamp on night and put a couple thousand in some blade ones. I got to put Zangetsu okay. in there. I love Zangetsu. Uh, let's see. Gem, Z02, and OZ. Oh, yeah, Tajador Eternity. That's got to be one of the ones I got to vote for as well. I wouldn't be yeah. dissatisfied with that one. All about mm -hmm. it. Z02. Uh, Why would Z02? I mean, I I don't think they have a Z02 card. It has to be something that doesn't have a card. Right. And but yes, it's, like it's other... literally right there. It's it's right really? there. It's the second option. Yes. Oh, you could just do other forms of like regular. Okay. Yes. So that's yeah. the thing. It's like forms. That, like when I did the Kiva ones, it did Guru form, Basha, Doga, and Dogabaki, oh. because they're all there. So obviously, Zo has a lot of different form writers on here that you could pick from. Yeah. Oh no, they have Decade Complete Twenty One. No one picked that. No one picked uh, that. Charles is going to pick that. Charles I saw that shit that. as the last one. Decade Complete 21. And I'm like, no. That's Charles, isn't it? So, yes, they have all the different ZO armors on here as an option for ZO. We have all of the gates, different forms. The wolves, different forms. Tsukiyomi by herself because mm -hmm. it's Tsukiyomi. Uh, Shinobi is in there. So, hey, Shinobi stands. Ooh. Go ahead. Get it. Yeah. I don't think anyone's gonna vote for Gun Zangetsu, but I listen. Won't. If they're only if Bandai and Toy only pick three, the top three that are voted for the most, and all three end up being Blade related, not my fault. Don't blame my VPN reset and auto clicker bot that I'm programming right now. Mad Rogue, Saiga, and Knuckle. I mean, I like Saiga. Saiga, good choice. Yes. So, Mark, Saber what would be uh, your picks? Well, the three that I picked the first time was uh, Chalice. Then I did Espada Arabian Nights from Saber. And then I also did Primitive Element or Primitive Dragon, Elemental Primitive Dragon from Saber. You know what's funny? John hates that suit so much. I don't know. What, why. Arabian Nights? Yeah. Or... I don't know. Why, no, Arabian Nights. So good. I like the helmet oh, and the belt quite a bit, and the suit's okay. But like, he hates that because I think he hates it because they ruined Primitive Dragon for it. Yeah, yeah so I'm like, they, 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 the options they had for Blade is Blade Jag form, uh, Garen Jag form, Chalice Wild Chalice. Uh, then you got Glaive Lance and Lark from the film. Mm -hmm. Also, they should uh, add in um, Garen King form, but that's not an option, which is stupid because that's now canon technically. 
Yeah. Isn't it an option? I thought it was under the um and a different Lady category. Rolls King form also. Those should be allowed. Oh, there's another other section? I didn't even know there's another section. Well, let me click on that, though. Yeah, Mark, so you, here we go. Uh, here is what we got in the others category. Um, oh, sorry, my bad. Ash, what do you think? Wait, you can't, you can't just yes, right click on it and have it translate the page? Not on uh, Firefox. I use Firefox. Uh, I, forgot, I use Firefox. I, forgot, I use Firefox. So, yes, if you go uh, to the others category, there it is. Garen King form is the second to last option. Damn. Okay. Ooh, they have Amazon Neo Alpha. That's actually so. Oh, just survive is also on there. So all the ones from Outsiders are on there. The ones from Comrade of the First are on there, which I really enjoyed. The first outfits. Mm. Uh, you had the ones from. Uh, the, this is what I don't get. So they don't have Comrade G, but they have the ones from like the Common Writer Sentai parody that they had that really one time. Like Maybe they really don't want G. I, I think it might be something with uh, with G's Wine actor thing. because of the oh. fact that it's actually a very well known like Japanese actor, and of course it was done for a variety show back then. Even though he did appear during what was it? Which one? I think it was like the last Heisei Generations film. Wait, that's the, the case. second Super one up there. Super one in there. You know, Toei's not smart. And they're not fooling anybody. They're, you do realize what they're doing, right? They're not going to pick the three that are top voted. They're just going to gauge the interest in all these, and they're just going to release all of them for money. Yeah. I mean, you don't Maybe know. They, they don't have these already designed. They could. Like, the, the three top voted ones are going to be released first, and then they're like, all right, well, because everyone voted so much, we're going to release all these cards. Here's yeah, our good. voter. So, Claudia, if you, if you click on the top category, that gives you all of the show or writers. Oh, okay. Oh, that's where they are. Okay. Yeah. Just... So that's the thing. It's like the show of writers that did not have their picks there. They're literally the first option. You just okay. click on that category and you'd be able to go through all the writers that were there. So the, uh, Shadow Moon is on there as well. Ah, no. 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 Not a... Yeah, he's right, right under right. black. It's Shadow <laughs> Moon. It's right fucking there. And I'm like, he's not even a copywriter. I'm not beating the allegations, man. Well, but, <laughs> but 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 they don't have like the black RX forms. That's the thing. It's like right. Mm -hmm. okay. Oh, no. Actually, RX. they do. Isn't that it? Robo Rider yeah. and yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Robo Rider, Die yeah. Rider. And... But then why do they put like Shin, Zo, and J under black? That just doesn't make any sense. It should be after Black RX. Yeah, Black RX. Yeah, that would make sense. So Mark, I mean, sorry, Ash, what'd you go with? Or what do you think? I haven't decided yet. I just, I've, like I said, I've been busy with work. I just discovered about this poll, so. Uh, I, ooh, I'm going to put Amazons. I got to change one to Amazons because I want the original Amazon. Might I recommend some ghost forms for you? Specifically Omega. Uh, no, I'm, good good on, I'm good on not ghost forms. Ghost uh, forms if I wanted a ghost form, it would probably be uh, Grateful. I like Grateful a lot. I did too. That's a good one. The urge to vote for all the wizard forms also is like really strong. So I like most of the wizard forms and Kiva. I mean, there's no bad suits in Kiva. No, every suit in Kiva except for one is pretty good. See what they put in for decade here. Looking at all the cards they don't have, and these are all the, the forms you could vote for. I'm like, man, they can milk these cards for a while. What are the odds you think that all these cards are already done? Oh no, I'm ninety percent sure they. Might I mean, be for out. for what they're gonna put on the artwork, you know, it's gonna be generic art, like P yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. writer yeah. art on one side, and then they just gotta They're design the chemi for for the other one. Mm -hmm. But they probably already have like rough sketches of them all, or at least yeah, a decent parallel. amount of them. And the parallel forms won't have, need too much effort. They can do what they do with blade and make it just look like one of the cards, you know. There. The thing is, I'm just uh, if it's certain shows, I feel like I already know what their chemi is gonna look like. Like if it's something from from Double, if I want Skull in that some bitch, I already know it's gonna be like his his hat. Well, not not his hat. Probably him, like I don't know, pulling the trigger. 
Like, you know, if it's going to be something from Zio, it's going to be a ride watch. Like, you know, that kind of yeah. shit. If it's something from Fize, even though I picked Orga, it's probably going to be the Orga phone looking like, you know, something out of, like, yep. Phone Braver 7. That type of shit. I still hate that the, the card I pulled was the double parallel. I hate that parallel so much. Very generic I was parallel. Almost any you know, other one. You can vote up to three per day. That's the thing for this. Can so yes, uh, Dogobaki is on here. I don't know how. That's the thing. Dogobaki is one of those forms. It's just like, how are you going to play this one off? Ooh. Because for Kiva in itself, it literally is just Ooh. like a bat. But this is like a triple combination form. So how is this going to look like in terms of its oh, camera? I know where my third one's going to be now. It's going to be Blade Tatagami. I need that uh, as a card. Uh, that would look so good. I need that line. But I probably will change my votes uh, tomorrow just to, like, just put in all the ones that I have favorites for and then just keep that train going and we'll see what the final results are. But, yes, I I do predict that after this contest is over, they'll release a, hey, here's every other Rider card Yep. right after. Like, yeah, after everybody gets invested in it. Because then so, the ones, then people are like, oh, I wish this one. I would buy that card if it came out. It's like totally like, well, since you mentioned it, it's like here you go, all of them. We got to make more money off of this uh, card stock. I'm not going to survive this. It it might be the only time that I care about it, but we'll see. The, the, the biggest thing is how's the parallels going to look like? Because the thing is, we know how the base is going to look like, but the yeah. parallel is the big one that everyone wants to see. And it's tough to predict the parallels because there's been some that have been great and other ones, like I said, that have been very lazy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And I'm looking like, at some of the of phase them. two ones were good, but most of the phase one ones were great. Phase two was like, eh. Some of the phase three ones, I was like, really? And then even the phase EX ones, I was like, bro, these ones are just, mm. I didn't really care for the par the one or two or four parallels that were in that set because it was such a small wave. Yeah, none of them are touching how good the Agito one or like the O's ones were. Like phase two ghost was so good. And I have the blade yeah. one anyway. I was like, that's not bad, but that ghost one was so good. Mm. Um the, oh, the O's one was amazing. Good. The O's one was great. I was about to say I know that Geats has a lot of fucking Oh yeah. Well I mean because of course it's fucking... that... oh Geats. that's right. Do Droopy how many are entry that's forms? the dog one was <laughs> Groovy. Uh, we got all, all the Geats forms, forms. Yeah. we got the <laughs> different tycoons, we got all the different buffers, and then we got Cheeto, Genpan, Mary, Dapan. Oh, gross. I'm guessing because of recency bias, we're probably going to get, um, what is it, Tycoon, um, uh, whatever it's called, I keep reading, Black General. Bujin Sword? Uh, Bujin Sword, yeah. Well, that already is getting one, I think. That is? Oh. Yeah. Who the hell, uh, these translations are, who the, f there was a Common Rider Turbo and a Common Rider Cucumber. What? No, the, a lot of translations are very bad. Actually, <laughs> it's like, like, what the fuck is this translation? I didn't know about this. Turbo Cucumber, you say? Who, 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 who's the right. Cucumber Rider? I mean, never mind. We already done talking about episode two of of Boon Boonger. Yes, we got uh, Cucumber Turbo Butchie right above it. Groovy above that one. That's the one that people are trying to like promote. Oh, no, up. Turbo and cucumber also. Okay then. Oh, wait, my mic was muted. Um, do you think there's gonna be like troll responses like when One Piece had the Absolutely. um like top, and like characters like uh whoop slap and uh big news morgans made it up to like the top common writer Ben and Jerry. I, I mean for the geeks voting, I feel that letter. Would be the one that uh, people would be voting for yeah. for that joke vote because she literally did nothing. Mm hmm. Because I don't know, if, like Japan, like clings onto like certain writers or there's certain writers that they meme on to for like. I swear, oh my the god! Yes. I think Brevi's got a lot of fucking shit on here, but of yeah. course we got all those fucking like other forms for Revice. Yep. Mm -hmm. So don't nobody vote 
for Demon Trooper Beta, Demon oh, Trooper oh, Alpha. <laughs> if you sons of bitches do any of that, oh, we need to press no more. We're get really over demons. Get that shit out of here. Ortega, get the fuck out of here with that shit out of here. Get that Ortega to the, to the, the to evil the marvelous, marvelous, live marvelous. Get, no, no. Get, get all of that yeah, weak shit off ones. of this fucking trap. Like, no. Get over demons, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, actually, Veil would be a cool one. I would not be opposed to. Oh, Veil vale would be great, but I'm gonna vote for Demon Troopers now. I just did my VPN again. Veil and Deathstream. De- Deathstream's a good one. De- Aguilera. No, get the- get Aguilera out this fucking. No, that's a bad suit. It's so a- many bad it's suits in the show. Common Rider Target. You want? Igarashi. <laughs> we get the option for Common Rider Igarashi up in this shit. Oh, yeah. oh, and Grime has no. a lot too. Wow, I know it's on the block. Oh, wait, hold on. They got the they have no, oh, they have the Duke Dragon Fruit one. I actually like that one. Wait, did Mark just say he likes a Grime form? Yes, there's actually a few dragon. forms I really like. Yeah, oh, no, yeah, dragon, fruit is good. Good. dragon fruit is very delicious. It's really good for you too. Yeah. It's actually... Come on, Mark, you like the Zangetsu form. Actually, I feel that the dragon fruit has a very muted sense of taste, so I'm not a big fan of Zangetsu. It. It's the white and green one. The oh, I don't like that one. Really? No, it's a white and green. I like the um, I like the the was it was it? I'm gonna mess it up. The tyrant one. Tyrant. You mean Baron? Baron. Dragon, the yeah. No, not the Baron. Like Baron's not, final oh, the black, the black Baron one. What black it's Baron? like the one shoulder Lord, bigger than the other. Lord Baron, Lord, I think Lord oh. Baron. Lord Baron. I think. Well, that's I right. Know, let me look up it. on the. Ladder. That's like his uh, Overlord form, I know that. Yeah. yeah I don't Batman think that's what he's talking Good suit. Yeah, so it's not, uh the I'm Black not... Baron banana arms one. I like that oh, one. Oh, black, I like the yellow. Black banana arms. So figure all the O's combinations gotta be here, right? Oh my god, this is a smaller list yeah. than I expected with so many forms that oh really there's like a hundred and five O's potential for and, and they and they're like nah you you get you get some that that's it you only get like the, the full combinations that's it you don't get any of the, the mixed match combos that sucks oh damn all right, boys. I like Let's that the a... translation for a uh, birth prototype is bath prototype. What the fuck is that? bath prototype? Wait, so is it bath X? No, it, birth X is right, but for some reason it's bath uh, prototype. That's weird. Yeah. Let's do a build ones they have. Damn. Common Rider Core is on here. The core is a good one. Uh, we got O's Ancient King and uh, Goda. We got Poseidon. We got Aqua. Which was uh, oh. going to be one of the other votes that I have. Is Comrade uh, a win on this? Super Tatobot. No, uh, there's nothing for Gachard, but I'm going to okay. assume that every Gachard writer is going to get their own Kemi card anyway. Yeah, no doubt about okay. it. Because it would make sense. It, it's mm-hmm. their fucking show. Yeah. Yep. I. They have an evil black hole form, the phase four one, and I'll, the complete. I was like, oh, that's a good one. I would vote for that. Is Comrade or Bath what uh, Legend is in? That's what, no. that's what he's soaking in. Just come right back. Is soaking in. It's yeah. the, like, like, it's like a cell. It just transforms into a bath. Down. Just, just, just it, that into that bath. would be the little Kemi in the corner would be a bathtub full of jewels. The Ark Orphanoc is not in this. Uh, thank you, Jesus Christ. Mm. Ooh, Church I can actually... Ark 1, that is a good suit as well. I already forgot what blade ones were on the list. I mean, I mean, there's there's a lot of good writer suits that could make all this. It just depends on how their corresponding chemi ends up going with this. Uh, let's see what's a wizard. I didn't check wizards. Let's see. Wonder if Super One's going to be like a thief that just steals a belt. Super? No, you can't, you can't, they can't. They definitely can't do that. It would probably be something. Well, technically speaking, this could go with the thief thing, but it'd probably be just some kind of hands or hand. They have Infinity Dragon Gold on there for Wizard. I I wonder if they got any of the Zero One forms from the comic, the American comic, Ragnarok. Keep that that. shit away. We don't talk about that. Okay. 
I forget that comics exist existence half the time I because don't, I don't like have them all stacked up on top of each other and like because I bought every cover. Don't you have like forget- every version? Yeah. I have every cover for every issue. Yeah. I like how Mark- Souther is translated as Souther, so I guess he's from yeah. the South. Souther, yeah, he's a Souther, honestly. I didn't. Southern, I, I guess that's what Southerners are now know, known as, uh, Southers. Souther. Oh, never mind. I like Wizard Special. No, I like the Infinity Dragon Gold one. I vote for that. All of these great ones on here. Ooh, I'm gonna. Oh, we should all vote for Sky Rider. Sky Rider Supremacy. <laughs> No one respects Sky Rider. No one does. Vote for OG Amazon for me. Give myself an anglerfish as the Kemi. Boy. Listen, listen, if there's stage riders on there, we all would be voting for Common Rider Tassel. Uh, there's not, because of course, Fives would have had yeah. Alpha, Beta, and Gamma up in that bitch, and they don't. Tassel deserves all the respect in the world. Greatest oh, stage no. suit ever until the angle got a game form. So, yeah, there's that whole contest going on. Um, so y'all can go ahead and, and vote, and it's like daily until they start narrowing things down. And then there's like a bigger vote once they get down to like the big, big final ones. So we'll see how that ends up playing out because the, the big reveal will be in April 26th is once we get the final crowning of everything going on there. Oh, that's a, so, that's a short As much as I like Forze, whoever votes for Meteor Storm should just like now. Well, they got to get to producing it before the show like stops airing. So yeah. that's true. That's true. So in other news, um, Austin St. John oh, said some shit. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, <laughs> we're going to this. Okay. <laughs> um. Uh. Yeah. So, I I actually did watch the full podcast, the, the full podcast yeah, with Jim and all that stuff. And the thing is, there's there's other moments of question that happen in there as well. Oh, I okay. um, can. Anything worth bringing up or? Uh, nothing to, to it's, it, it's just ironic how in the beginning he says, there's stuff I won't say because my son's right here. Yeah. Okay. Cause his son was there as they were recording the entire thing. Yeah. Uh, so he's just like, there's certain words I won't say. They actually got into like a whole Chappelle show bit talking about the whole I'm Rick James bitch type thing. And, uh, and he was just like. Well, can we say that? It's like, well, I don't want to say certain words around my son, that type of thing. But I can tell you right now, it's one of my new favorite words. I use it in my daily life. Oh, God. Oh, boy. <laughs> so, yes. Oh, God. Uh, so there's some other portions in here. Like I said, watch the whole thing. Uh, yeah. there, there, There's other portions in there that, you know, it's... It's one of the reasons why I liked Austin St. John was just because of the fact that he became like a combat man and things like that. Uh, firefighter. Yeah, that type of thing. So he definitely was was someone that when I saw him come back into the scene, I was definitely very much, you know, on his side. Like I was liking what I was seeing in terms of like how he was presenting himself, the way that he lived his life right after. Um, the fact that he definitely went to nothingness after Power Rangers because he was homeless for a while, um, living out of his vehicle, like the real like actor lifestyle from from that aspect. But then he had to say some shit <laughs> during this fucking podcast for his new fucking line because he 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 promoted different types of things from like he's apparently working on a new animated feature, he's working on a new comic. He's working on something new live action that he's directing he, he, and stuff like that. He's said that for years. We've heard nothing of it. Yeah. He, like ask him about Survivor's End or The Order. You'll get, you get shoved to he, the side. He was a part of it, but he wasn't like main creative. The comic book one is actually like happening. Oh, okay. Yeah. I think they're going to go the Kickstarter route. Like 
probably before the year is over. What did he do? Chest of greatness. Or we'll what get there. We'll get there. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. What um, didn't he do? <laughs> JBS so, son, this interview, um, f- the fan word thing, like every like couple weeks, it's something. Yeah. And I used to defend him because, like Zio said, with all the, his backstories up, and I've always had nothing but amicable and great in-person interactions with him. No, I was just saying when I met him back in 2015, he was a a nice guy to hang around, but that's when he was first on the scene. That was like almost 20 years ago. Yeah, 2015. Now I get sort of rolled down then. And and that's the thing. It's like when I was um, like catching back with what things were going on with the community and was seeing like the, the con scene for a lot of the Power Ranger actors from when I was younger and things like that it's like there was a a certain image like jdf may he rest in peace that type of thing but there was a certain image that jdf presented for himself like in the con scene that i was not a big fan of especially like when he was becoming an mma fighter and he was like screw all this shit type thing and then when he was like finding his way back into it and there was like a level of arrogance that i just didn't care too much about but then when like Austin St. John came back into the scene. I was like, this is very, very humbling, that type of thing. And I'm really like, I feel more in this guy's corner, that type of stuff. But so, so the big thing is that he's promoting a new line of clothing in which uh, he's got warriors from warriors, warriors, warriors from, from, from throughout history, the good ones and the bad ones. And their memorable quotes written in their native language on shirts and stuff. And the one that he decided to name drop happened to be responsible for certain things that I don't know if I can say without getting demonetizing in the video. Um, But certain massacres and atrocities that were part of the founding reasons for World War II even being a thing. Yes. And it's like... You lead what with was that. a direct quote. What was the direct quote though? I, I, he had some good one liners. Yes, he was a demon on steroids. Yes, it's like he was evil, a, a demon on steroids, but he had some good one liners. <laughs> yeah, I feel, like, I feel like I somehow summoned this because before this went down on Monday, I was watching Rat Race. And if you've seen oh, Rat Race, you know that one. That. You know that one scene with John Livid. So I feel like this is like a weird <laughs> coincidence. Oh my god! What was Rat the quote? Race. We don't know what the quote is. I guess you'll find out yeah, once he launches his merch yeah. store. Yeah. The fact that he only named three names in the first initial sentence: Chuck Norris, Bruce Lee, and then him. I was like, one of these things is not, not like, like the others. <laughs> yeah, one of these things is not like the other. <laughs> Uh, it's oh my god so it's like look i'm a history buff myself and you know i watched a lot of history channel back in the day before it was like george Zuklos and like all the fucking ancient aliens it was a lot of world war ii like shit so i'd seen all of the documentaries regarding like world war ii and stuff like that and i can understand like a certain person's rise to power and that type of shit does take like charisma and propaganda and that kind of crap but even then, <laughs> past this pretense, and you know what they were responsible for at the end game. So why even bother? Why even? Yeah. I just. And people are saying, like, and people are like defending him in a way, saying, oh, oh he didn't God. say that he's endorsing him. But still. You don't lead with, I want to put Hitler quotes on a shirt. That is not what you go with. At the end of the that day as well, it's like, you got you to think, who, who, who in their right mind would wear such apparel is the, is the big thing. Like, who was this apparel made for if you're going to go with that side of, that's like of a- history? It's like apparel for like an Eric Andre skit, and you know he's like, yeah, you know, if you know Eric Andre, you know like it's a joke, but even within yeah. the, joke, you know what I mean, the worst part is Toei has released like their announcement for new like Kamen Rider merch at the Kamen Rider store, and they have a Shocker hat that has three of them doing their Shocker salute on it. Oh, no. oh yeah, and I was like, it was like two days later, and I was like, 
what timeline timing. were they wearing? Like, <laughs> we I, mean, it, I was like, <laughs> the timing. Uh, also, he yeah. wants to put oh. the quotes in their native language. I'm like, that shirt's not going to go well. It's, like, not gonna go well. it's not. It's not. Because no. even also, the Germans, like, that's a part of history that they're like, they want to brush that on the rug. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. What happened to these type of We're on holiday. It's like, oh, like the whole family guy sketch when they went over there. And I was like, that's all I think of every time. Nah. Nah, and yeah, the thing so. is, I was su- I was surprised. So this this was um, coming from Jim Cummings, his his podcast that he's got going on, which a lot of people aren't following him. I was like surprised that his sub count so low, and that even his view count uh, for most of his podcasts are so low. Now yeah, well, this is going to be his best rated public. episode. He's been public at the time that the entire thing, standpoint. at the entire That's thing, why. the entire time that this when this first dropped, that was still like one k views. Yeah, like the Austin St. John. Now it's like a five K. Yeah, no one cared about the full episode. Everyone just once the clip was online, but like he doesn't get a lot of numbers because of his political standpoint. Some stuff he's said about politics out loud, like publicly. Um, which, which you do I'm get like, in this thing. Yeah. Once again, if people actually watch this full episode, you'll get some of the viewpoints in there. It's like there was a whole like strap to yeah. the nines oh, yeah. type thing that they said on there in terms of like guns. So they. You know, there, there are certain political ide- ideologies that they do. Oh no! Like Man. relate to in, in certain aspects. And he's another person I've met at cons and worked with at Kineticon because Kineticon is a very small convention, and I've filmed his press junket for him. Um, and he's a really nice guy. And I was like, and this is before like Kingdom Hearts Three was even announced, and he accidentally was like, "Yeah," and I recorded some lines, and I was like, "Oh, Kingdom Hearts 3? <laughs> it's like, but he's. I, he's always like I said, another person knows I've been nice to me, and he's not the one who's releasing shirts like that. So I was like, I have no ill will towards Jim Cummings. No, nah, I mean, I'm, I'm usually not a person that divides friendship based off pol- political ideology or anything like yeah. that, anyway. So it's just like it's action speaks louder than words in a lot of mm-hmm. aspects, yeah. and um, releasing a merch line that oh. <laughs> really has some words on it. So, um, that n- now I know it's poor timing. As you know, I have a merch line, and it's hitting its one-year anniversary on April 1st. So today, I want to announce my new anti-heroes line, <laughs> which is oh. no, I'm not, uh-huh. not going to finish that. Uh-huh. I'm like, no, you're not, it's, not that. it's going to have favorite villains, Jafar, yeah, yes, um, Jafar, Scar, um, and uh, Skynet. Yeah, oh, def- yeah, definitely not. Genghis Khan and Attila Han, oh, yeah. the Wrath of the Khan from the Wrath of Khan. Uh, it's all the, fictional um, characters only. The Grunchable the from Matilda. Yeah, the the vacuum from the Brave Little Toaster because he was always grumpy. Um. Yeah. Great. I thought about, uh, I thought about doing a, I thought about doing a line that's just Austin St. John quotes on t-shirts. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know how that would work. I really thought about doing that. Uh, I don't think it would work really well. It was just no, literally the, I was going to do a shirt that says, "Well, he had some great one-liners and it was going to just have dash asj." <laughs> uh just don't put like Austin 316 on there. No. Oh, I thought of doing it. Yeah. Something similar to yeah. that, just with a different number and scheme. Oh. Yeah. I was going to put the date of whatever the podcast came out. Uh, so, so, Ash, bad. of course, you put out a video, and I, I found it hilarious because your thumbnail was like the usual, like, mm-hmm. the, the usual YouTube thumbnail of like we the Fall it. from that Grace was... thumbnail. That's the yeah. algorithm thumbnail. That is the algorithm thumbnail. Yeah. The so, uh, well. That's yeah. not the only busy week I had when it came to Power Rangers. Uh, not really. Dude. Your your return issue two review. I watched it twice. That was a great fucking review. Can I? Like, can I? Like, was, sorry, hmm. Yeah. Sorry to go from like Austin to the comics, but um, I got the Amy Jo Johnson follow on Twitter. Oh, oh, nice. Yeah. I also like heard she, that she said some shit about Austin St. John. Oh, she subtweeted like crazy. <laughs> I, I saw that. 
It oh, made news talking. outlets like E Online. Yeah, and A and TMZ. Yeah. I just like when people try to drag other people in it because people are trying to drag David Fielding into it Fielding. because he was tweeting stuff, but he's he was like he flat said if it was about him, I would have tagged him. I don't subtweet, and I'm like respect because well, you know that. he's where he's. That. He's an author now. He's writing books, and they're actually really good. Yeah. For is he still working books. under the same manager as uh, yes. ASJ? The one that <coughs> m- m- mocked JDF? Yeah. That's, then I can I, understand. I yeah, I can understand why he's getting a lot of pushback because that guy. Because a lot of people dropped that manager. Some people didn't. Um, and I guess I don't know if he did them. drop him. He just, he, David Fielding, from any interaction I've had with him online or in person, like, it's no one's business. Like he won't. So he yeah. he'll, he'll, he always does his stuff behind closed doors. So if he's not with that manager right. anymore, it, you know, if he goes to post, people go, "Oh well, he's signal boosting. He got rid of him because of ASJ." It's like no, he just doesn't care. He's writing his books and you know has a cool sword yeah. on art on his wall, which I'm jealous of. No, like I get what David Fielding is. Like I can understand if people want him to make a response, but they and he's like. Yeah, just I'll talk about it when I talk about it. Just leave me the fuck alone. Um, I mean, at the end, they he never had while they were shooting. He didn't have any interaction with them anyway. So it's no. like, yeah, he designs. Uh, and he and says that he very did. often. Like he felt like being such a sub part of the cast that mm. since he wasn't really there, well, he ain't get no royalties. Like, yeah, he ain't get no good royalties either. Yeah, I, I know. Uh, really, yeah. I know Amy Joe Johnson threw some shade saying like, "Ooh, like, yikes! This is why you need a publicist." <laughs> that type <Yeah>. of shit. <laughs> well, the new, or like Roy Red Range has a whole new meaning to it. Yep. Yeah. Mm. I mean, I'm just saying for if you need publicists, I'm available. Just don't pay me with warrior merch money. <laughs> Look, I'm just so confused because he's coming to my my town next month for a convention. Austin St. John is. Go say hello. Ask him what hi. It's like I'm just like I'm so conflicted. I'm like, this is no, this has been a dream you. of mine to meet him, but then it just happens to be right after all this shit just happened. So I'm like, yeah. what do I do? <laughs> do I get the helmet you. sign? Do I not? Do I still go up to him? Do I go like, oh, no, we just, bro, we we got to talk about this quote you that's did? So like, messed up too because we just talked about the helmet being signed it, a week yes. ago. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. And, and then, like, Why? literally Why? right after that, like, days after we have this conversation off camera, it's like, ah, well, yeah, yeah he, he drops this whole H bomb. Honestly, like, all right, I see it as this, and other people get mad when they like separate the art from the artist. I'm like, well, listen, you can still get Rocky's actor to sign a little bit, <laughs> <laughs> but I already got Rocky's signature on something, you can get it twice. I mean. It's one of the things like I I'm trying to pick what story it is because there's some stories that don't get shared publicly. Um, I mean it's it's one of the things like man, get a sign. Why not? Why not? Just like make sure, just make sure there's no cameras around. Yeah, and make sure it's not with a pen that has like loan banks on it. I don't know. <laughs> like just, <laughs> just like I don't know, honestly. Like he's he's he's. I, I don't know. It's like it, the I, conflict. It's suit. like, the, and I know I'm laughing yeah. about it, but that's only because of like that. The I handle trauma in a whole different way as well. So it's yeah, like, we, like no making jokes and stuff like that. I'm kind yeah. of the same here and there. You could honestly just like have him sign the helmet. Honestly, why not? Screw it. Yeah. It's the Red Ranger. It's the actor who played the Red Ranger signing the helmet. It's not like you're going out and being like, "Hey, let's be best friends." Mm. I mean that 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 time is kind of like past in terms of that aspect. It's just like free warriors t shirt with every signature. Yeah. And not I get go. lucky enough to get the wrong shirt. Not, no. not, not I, uh, uh, on, on a tangent unrelated, but have you seen the um Star Wars uh free PO card? No, I want to no. post in the chat. I just want to get everyone's reaction real quick. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I need that card. I need a poster version of that. That's hilarious. 
No, some people have. Uh, wait, I'm trying to read chat. There's a lot of stuff. People are not happy that we're laughing. I don't even know. Like, what? Well, like, no, we can laugh if we want. What do you mean? I'm not happy that we're laughing. No, someone's like, you're laughing, blah, 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 blah. I don't know. I don't read full things. That. Here. No. Leave the guy alone, dude. You're. Man, we laugh about stuff, man. I laugh about funny stuff all the yeah. time. Funny stuff's funny. Yep. We're not Listen, laughing at. We're not laughing at. It's laugh- it's a the, the, it's a, the atrocities definitely not. It's just it's a situation. Not, yeah, it's a situation, situation yeah. of who would ever in their right mind wake up and Buy go. Shit. This is the clothing they, line at, I wanted. Yeah, add to cart. Add to cart. Get one for me, one for the wife. They, this yeah. is literally one of those of like you know seeing your your last week we were celebrating a childhood icon. This week, mm-hmm. we're kind of dealing with a childhood icon yeah. that just going the wrong direction. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, imagine his PMC table, and he's got stacks of that stuff, like his merch out. I'm sorry. One, I'm going to be like, sir. And then I'm going to be like, there's no way it's real. And we all know, yeah. let's face it, let's be real. There's going to be some backpedaling. That's why he's been quiet since that episode came out. That too, and like, um, apparently they've been deleting like a lot of comments on the Facebook page of anyone bringing oh, yeah. it up, oh, which is not good, not platform. a good look. And on the fan word stuff too, which I'm just because I just met Walter recently. I'm like, again, I'm like, oh man, like he's quiet too because they have to do all that fan word stuff together. Yeah, but fan word was like, yeah, uh, whatever they do on their own account is not our responsibility or something yeah. like that. Because I'd be getting those fake emails from Fanward, like, it's just a, uh, ASJ here. Did you know this is your last chance to get my autographed postcard? I'm like, that's cool. I guess some people wanted to see the card, so it's like, uh, there we go. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's the head turn with it that just makes it great. I'm going to put that on a shirt. Why isn't that on a shirt? I don't know, but he. Uh, it looks like he's excited to see you over here it's on the side. P-P-P- oh, boy. Mm-hmm. Like, can yeah, you hold it up for like? Oh, I was gonna. <laughs> no, <play>. no. <laughs> no. I was gonna. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, as brought up in something that like we kind of glossed over really quick was like people like going feral defending the 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 yeah. shirt. Like you could defend ASJ and be like, hey, listen, you know what? He's not the brightest bulb ever. Mm, he has a yeah. track record of not being the smartest. Unless mm-hmm. stupid yeah. is not a crime. Yeah, and he's, you know, like I said, genuinely, he's a nice guy whenever I met him. But you can't sit there and defend that. Yeah, you can't defend. And people are heaven. defending that, and I'm like, yeah, and he said, put stuff on shirts all the time. Not that. My, my yeah, thing is, that. is like he's a, he's a big proponent of like the U.S. military and things like that, and like. U.S. in terms of like a historical context, and it's like I know mm-hmm. the history of war and all that that good stuff. I mean, my family's military and and that kind of shit. And it's like you for being a military guy, and you, like one of the first people that you go to is someone that the U.S. fought against. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But can you know. admit, like, like how can I word this, like? I guess Jewish Power Ranger fans. Can you imagine just being hot? Oh. Like, oh yeah, like, absolutely yeah. not. Yeah, that's like, that's disgusting. Yeah. Like your childhood icon would put something like that on a shirt. Yep. Yeah. It's like the it's it, it's like okay, there, there's some bad people out here, but this is like the bad person. There's been yeah. so yeah. many like fictional bad guys modeled around this guy because of how much mm-hmm. he is like the world's first major super villain in a real life sense. Yeah, because the atrocities yeah. and war crimes that were committed under mm-hmm. his watch. Yep. There's a reason why you know Nazis are like known as like the big bad, like no matter what. He's the reason we have Shocker and Kamen Rider. Yep. Yeah. And whatever the Black Cross in um Sentai. Is it Black Cross and Go Ranger? That Ranger, I thought was uh Mark Green. Yeah, uh, I have one panel light out, so I have to like move this one because the other one's oh, okay. 
Well, sorry, I got distracted by Mark. And I'm like, Black Cross is like in so many fucking like tokus. Like that's such a regular occurring name. Mm. Like, why can't you do uh, fictional character? Why can't you do Alan Rickman and like freaking? Was yeah, they could have. Uh, could have did like stormtroopers or something like that. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe because copyright, I guess, yeah, on copyright. some fictional sure. folks. Oh. But it's still like another idea. Historical figures, it's like I get it, it's free game because it's public domain because it's a historical figure, but it's like Yeah, yeah. but not that one. Not that one. Yeah. yeah. There's a lot of other times. Well, even history. there, there's other historical figures also that I wouldn't want him well, to yeah, touch. Obviously, but still. like don't touch Tojo, Stalin, and Yellow either. Mm. You know what the worst part is though? Him being serious about that on a shirt, like there's no jokes I can ever make, no matter how bad or foul they are, that will ever top that. The, the thing that got like, me that, as well serious about it Ugh. was the fact that he was naming warriors, and I'm like, I'm mm. sorry, but it this man, not a warrior. exactly, not a warrior. he did not. not. No, he, he he led people to like their own demise type thing, but he never saw combat firsthand. I'm sorry, that's not a fucking warrior. That's a fucking yeah, weird. That movie. man was not Napoleon. He did not touch the battlefield. The word warrior, too. Yeah. yeah, it's like, I think you need to reassess your definition for what a warrior actually is, because that ain't it. Mm -hmm. And the backpedaling, too, right after, because he knew. You could see, if you watch the full, you could see where he's just like, oh, crap, I just said that out loud. And then he's like, well, you can't take the good without the bad. And then he's like, trying two sides of the I'm like, no, sir, like, you cannot, like, they, it, 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 the words came out of my mouth. Don't even try and justify and backpedal. Yeah, like, first thing you. should have been like, I'm sorry, I did not mean that. that was... I'm still baffled that made it to the final cut of the podcast. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it makes me wonder if they don't have an editing, like, I'm wondering what, 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 what the editor in general do. If they do, or what they did cut out then. Exactly. What did not in there? He listed all the quotes. What isn't in there? Just, does he have that book memorized? I'm sorry, that's a bad one. I shouldn't have said that. Oh, yeah. I just don't want to. We probably shouldn't be making jokes of this because it's not like a like hurt topic. Yeah, yeah. No, it's just... no. Okay, it is not. It's not only hurt topic. It's like I said, the humor. The only humor of this is someone being this stupid. Yeah, yeah. And it's one of those. It's kind of one of those sad yeah, things yeah. where it's like. Yeah, because it's not a satire of him making a joke. Oh, and then I'm going to include this on there too. <laughs> it's like, no, this is him being serious. Yeah, this isn't like yeah. it was a skit or like a joke, like that was planned. This no, was... he is serious. And that's what's that's the only humor I find it is someone could actually be this like self removed from any form of like coherent, rational human thinking to just be like, this is what I want to release. This is what I want to do. It's like, sir. Like yeah. this is one of the times where it's like if you I was friends with someone and they were doing something like this, I'd be like, listen, let's hang out, let's have a chat, and then all I do is just slap them. It's like, was yeah, there was really like, no, no QC when it came to like your uh your entire apparel line? That it was just like, yeah, this is everything I want to mm -hmm. put on here. It's just like great. I have no idea what any of this stuff says. Yeah, because it's written in native yeah. language. Yeah. Genius, yeah. just like the tattoos people get of languages they don't understand. Great, yeah, and mom. Is, yeah. Written in like, and, and that's the thing. Yeah. It's like, had he never elaborated probably on this at all and just released the line with just being he dug his own hole with this one, yeah, yes, yeah. That, that's the thing. It's like he opened his mouth and actually said it. It's just like it could have actually would have been way worse once people found out that they spent money on it, knowing, mm -hmm. yeah, after the was. fact. But the fact that he opened it probably saved some people some scratch in terms of that aspect. But to yeah. be fair, you you know that the ones that are like in, in kanji would probably sell the most to begin with. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 100%. Also, just going to say this. Like, this is not like a go back and like, you know, you can't watch or you don't, you can't like the original Power Rangers thing again. Like, again, remember, separate actor from... Yeah, actor, 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 actor from me. Not yeah. only that, but things just... change with time in terms of some people, and yeah. I would say that Austin St. John definitely fell through a certain rabbit hole over the course of the last few years. Yeah, so yeah. I, would, I would just like to preference this. Like, a lot of people tend to be like, oh, I can't watch this now, or I should look at this in a different way because this person's now like this. That no, wasn't their mindset back then. back then. That's the thing, yes. Yeah, and even in that case, they're an actor playing a role in a series. It's like that that character that they're portraying is not who they are as a person. So it's it's okay to separate the two because that's the, they're not yeah. equivalent. 
And also say, because you could take a lot of stuff out of context with our conversation of this laughter's and the jokes. I think I can wholeheartedly speak for all of us, but none of us support that at all. That idea, that merge, no. that any of that. That is that is probably the stupidest thing I've heard all year so far. Mm -hmm. It may be the top thing for the whole entire year, honestly. Yeah. And one of the stupidest things ever. Like it baffles me that it, it, and it's not even well, the that, person. It's the idea and the principle behind the theme of the line. That is the worst part. The, the thing that gets me a, a lot of it is like when we led this entire thing is like, mm -hmm. this was a man that I did idolize when I was younger. They like, mm -hmm. he's the reason why I like the color red. Like he was the red Ranger, that type of shit. So a big staple of my entire childhood. And then I say, like, I'm in such disbelief when it happened. And I'm like, there's no way these words came out of this man's mouth. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. And like, I have photos of me and him all over social media because I've met him multiple times. It's on Instagram, Twitter, this night. I'm like, I'm not. Yeah, he's very friendly and calm. Seven me. years and eight years to yeah. find them and meet them. Like, it now. Like, <laughs> I say, who has a quarterback then is not the same person now. Or they might have, and they just hit it really well. Yeah, and it's just one of those things where it's like eventually, you know, your heroes fuck up, but like that was, yeah, fun. that was a major yeah. fuck up. So yeah, the, but then the again, one thing like, I put out was you get to a certain age and you find out your childhood heroes are just like horrible yeah. human beings. Yeah, yeah, but not only that, um, Austin has had like a track record of saying stupid stuff. Like when co uh, when COVID was happening, he was calling it like fake and a scam and oh, stuff like that. Yeah. I, I mean, I. I I don't. I live in the South. I hear that like literally half of the that's conversation true. out here was dad. So it's that's like, true. I, but that's true. But this was during the um peak of it when it started. Well, the thing is, it's like I was in one of those states that didn't really shut down. Like people talk about, like yeah, it, yeah, it, it, like it, in truth, like Georgia was shut down for two weeks, and then after that, it was kind of like free for all. No one ever yeah. covered that in the media, but Georgia was definitely open. Like mm -hmm. I lived when in everybody York, else was still close. Uh, it was it was. I was not San Diego, so we know how that went. <laughs> yeah, yeah it, it, it's like I know for y'all, like in those states, y'all were secluded. While here, we were actually touching grass. I was, we just yeah, had to wear masks. But... Let me tell you the quality content I was making back then. All right, because oh, yeah, that's when like yeah. Saber was airing sets. When I had not, that was I was the only one making Saber content. <laughs> I was like reviewing oh. reactions to toys. And I had time to actually edit and like care because I was mm. working. And I I was, yeah, mm -hmm. this, the pandemic is kind of the reason why I discovered Zio's channel in the first place. That's why I discovered a lot of people's channels, to be honest. I didn't start until like the end of the pandemic anyway, because I was just like, yeah. No, I know, but I started like consuming a lot more like Toku content during the pandemic. Mm. And I really got it's how I met a I lot of Toku tubers. A lot of Toku content, like from a YouTube standpoint, it was more like social media. YouTube was still like, let me watch a lot of long form videos because I have a lot of hours in the day to kill. <laughs> I was like, let me hope. Why don't we watch this whole entire dissertation of why the Halo franchise like was horrible when at the 343 studios? I'm like, yeah, let me watch this eight hour video. Well, goodbye, 343 studios. Ah, so. Yeah, the thing on? is, yeah, well, it's just, I mean, I mean, it's just sad seeing like yeah, it, it, yeah. it's it, it's like two weeks back to back of like i can't believe what the fuck is going on right now in my life like seeing well, what happened to Ray? no, no uh, exactly <laughs> it's like first we have like akira toriyama pass away major part of like a lot of people's childhoods pass away um we found out of course a uh, brain tumor that was the big thing mm -hmm. uh that came out afterwards and and things like that uh, but then, you know, Austin St. John, another part of a lot of people's childhood, still alive and kicking, but saying mm -hmm. stupid shit. And it's like, ah, uh, what's. I feel, I feel like, Zero, especially with the media nowadays, like, and considering how old we're getting, eventually a lot of the heroes we're, getting, we're seeing, it, it's sooner or later something or certain things are going to come up about certain people. And there's going to be a big old spotlight on them for quite some time. It's, it's yeah. Like, you know, I mean, the thing is, like, you know, it's big when like regular media companies start covering shit that is normally part of what we think is very, very niche. 
Yep. Mm -hmm. And that's where it starts getting into like those type of categories. It's just like shit that you thought was niche starts getting very, very mainstream just because of that. Cause I was seeing regular media outlets report on Austin St. John and, and regarding his quotes and like the usual uh, suspects that cover like a lot of like different media takes and shit going on. I uh, just start reporting it. I'm like, wow. Okay. Yeah. Oh, uh, do you have another topic you want to discuss, sir? Um, I don't know, but I'm open for anything that's more happier in news. <laughs> just <laughs> because. Who's got something positive? Anything in wrestling? Um, how how do we cap off this with something positive? Because. Chat, yeah. Do any suggestions, I, please? Anything. It, it's no. very downer. Like at least last week we were celebrating someone's life, but here we're just. Gar. Mm -hmm. Seeing what about Garo? I haven't Not watched Garo. Garo, but I've had nothing but good things about Garo. I need oh, to catch up. Oh, it's had some it really good moments. Solid. It, 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 it definitely has gotten some It's good on YouTube, moments. so it's not going anywhere. Um, yeah. Although the subs are a bit finicky, so I need to maybe get like overtime or something subs on them. I mean, TV uh, Homes out there, if you like them stylistic yeah. subs, they're back in the game. Hell with their yeah. proper name. Well, I oh, guess yeah, we were talking about... Garo. Have yes, we're trying. Like, we're trying to shift to something more positive because no, we're definitely. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you got anything positive uh, to tell the class, Mark? Oh uh, no! I don't freaking like. What is that thing called where like you get a knot in your quad and then like it feels like you want to like, oh. amputate your leg? Gotcha. So that's what. Uh, <clears throat> I keep not ready, Charlie. Right? I know what you're. I know what you're talking uh, about. Like someone's just like punching me right in the back of the quad. Oof. Um. I don't know. I they, I found another Toonie Terror Wednesday Adam. I didn't know they were doing like different outfits for her. Okay. So my horror action figure oh. collection is getting better. Oh, Massive Verse. Only two or three days left to back uh, back Kickstarter. the Kickstarter. They oh, um, showed more cards off and they're adding in like Radiant Yellow, a few other oh, characters, nice. and they're one more stretch goal away from adding another character. And it's not just one card. It's a deck for them as well. Nice, nice. Thank, thank yeah. you for that. Because um, with the Kickstarter ending, my bank will charge me. So thank you for that reminder. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, and yeah. in like three days, two or three days, no, um, Matt Matthew uh, tweeted about it, and I was like, "Cool." Matt, I like yeah, that. Matt Groom, yeah. Uh, well, if we want to end on a positive note, you want to talk about like which like childhood actor or like uh, who was your icon growing up? Like whether you were watching like the the Toku stuff as a kid. Rowan Atkinson, because Mr. Bean was Doku. Ooh. You know the my introduction to Mr. Bean was obviously the the American hey. film that we had of him, the one with they had like Whistler's yeah. mother, <laughs> mother, <Yeah. laughs> and that all the shit. Oh my god, that shit was fucking hilarious! That drawing that he put I used, on there. Have you I used to watch uh, the, um, HBO, show? and they used to have the shorts in between movies and stuff on HBO. I, I I did start watching some of those a little bit, like several years afterwards. Once I found out like the origins of Mister Bean and all that stuff, because literally a lot of Americans' introduction to him was that film, because we didn't get any of those other yeah. Mister Bean shorts or anything like yeah, that yeah. prior yeah. prior to any of that. So I could say we could talk about Godzilla X Kong because another trailer came out, but we I haven't seen it. I have, at, no. at this point, I'm just like, let me just watch the film. It, it's tough because it's coming out. So this Friday coming up is Ghostbusters, and the it's following Friday it's I'm going to go Cosmo. see that on my day off work. Yeah, oh, is that the, yeah, I still haven't cool. even seen Dune Two, and I hear that's amazing. It is. I haven't fantastic. seen Dune One. I haven't seen Dune One. Oh, then you got Dune One's been available. You got to see right, it. It is but really I had to good. leave during the middle of it because of the popcorn bucket incident. Oh, what did you do to your bucket, Mark? What did someone else do to your bucket? Hey, did you get that custom popcorn bucket? Yeah, yeah, I did. <laughs> There's also one for Ghostbusters that I want too. So you know, how, like the old school popcorn buckets were like the square ones that had like yeah veered out like this. It's a ghost. It's the trap, right? And oh, the bucket that's cool. is the beam. Oh, and it's ooh. kind of it is translucent blue and green, and I was like, but you could take the bucket out and close the trap. Okay, and I was like, I need that, that I one. Yeah, I need that one. Uh, Dune Dude was not overrated. I think it's honestly Dune. Also, how can just, a, how can a film be considered around. overrated nowadays when almost every film gets talked about is trash? Also, so, 
X Men ninety seven that drama most of it is not one hundred percent like confirmed. That is all from clickbaity articles, um, and no one actually has the actual sources on it. The only thing that's confirmed that's comic book or superhero related is the head writer Anna whatever her last name is because I can't pronounce it. Who's writing the Supergirl film? Just got confirmed live action Teen Titans. She is going to be writing that. So we're getting Teen oh. Titans live action again. Okay, a couple hours ago. For those of you who don't know, like that Dune was like. But, but I'm still like, like, if they're doing live action Teen Titans, that means that we're still not getting a proper like Dick Grayson as Robin in nope. live action again. And it's like why Batman. And it's like that Batman two, the Batman two got pushed back two years, so it's actually coming. You out. like want a Nightwing movie or something? Well, I think it's like I do want a Nightwing movie, but I want to see like Evolution. him as I, yes, I got to see him being. The boy wonder first before we get Nightwing. You can't just start Dick Grayson well, off as isn't Nightwing. He, a, he is still the boy wonder in the Titans. Well, yeah, yeah. No, no, not the if they're doing Titans, if they're doing Teen Titans, sure. But if they're doing Titans, that implies that he's already Nightwing. They're doing, oh, no, teen they're doing, titans. They're doing teen, teen Titans. titans. That's teen what titans. they're doing teen that's titans live action. Yeah. Yeah. Not Titans. Teen Titans. Yeah, but titans even then, it, how much because of course I have I have stigma towards the Titans live action show, where, of course, we did get Dick Grayson as Robin in that, but we had Dick Grayson going through show. his whole fuck Batman arc in the beginning. That was, that was great. Though. I like that show. That trailer, when they first, before the show came out and I saw that, I was like, oh, you know, I'll watch this. They knew that what they show were doing was, with that. Yeah. That line. <laughs> yeah. Good. That show wasn't as bad as people said it was. Like, I, I need to finish no, the, 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 the no, first good. season, I, th- I do think that they rushed the whole Jason Todd Red Hood thing. Way yeah. too fast. They rushed and, it, but the kid did good acting in it, though. Like, oh, yeah. so. And when they got to the uh, the last season, I was like, "Oh, what the fuck are y'all doing?" That's why I, I started seen, going. Like, I haven't seen the last season yet. I, I watched either. all I never of finished it. it. I never. I never, fin- I never planned on. Finishing oh, it. oh yeah, no, yeah. The, every season kind of acts like a a soft reboot to the previous one. Yeah, and. Yeah. It it's a little weird, especially when you start getting into like the whole Superboy relationship with Starfire's sister, Blackfire, and that type of thing. And yeah, it's it's weird. I've never been a Titans fan or a Teen Titans fan, so like I really? have, not like, even I'm the cartoon not. as a kid. That was no. Great. That was remember, fan. remember, say that again as a kid. Now look at what year it came out. Ah, uh, fair point. Yeah. So for me, I was like, I was like, even in the comic standpoint, I never really cared about that stuff. Like DC, like even general DC stuff, I've never been like, oh my god, I can't wait. Same with Marvel well, too, honestly. Like, I always followed the the original Teen Titans crew. So when they changed them up and we got the newer Teen Titans, and they graduated the other ones into being the Titans, I was like, ah, I'm not gonna follow these Teen Titans. I'm gonna follow the Titans and. With Rebirth and all that shit, I got so much of the Titans run for that stuff, especially since, you know, Wally West was, like, a bigger proponent when it came to, like, a bigger construct when it came to, like, the original Team Titans. And then, of course, when he went off to being the Flash and then disappeared and in, in, uh, came, came back in Rebirth, it's like, oh, That's Titan's cool. about to hit. Titan's about to hit a whole nother level. So I was like, I you should you should read the Tom Taylor Nightwing and Tom Taylor yeah. um, Titan. Oh. Run. Yeah. It is. I never heard of Titan. Then oh, Tom Taylor dude. Nightwing is real. I just uh, yeah. One of my favorite. Like one Dick, of my favorite ones. Dick Grayson and like uh just general like Nightwing and stuff. You could watch him as uh, the agent. What's his What's his number? I keep forgetting. Uh, when he works for Spiral, those comics. I, keep I I know which one you're talking about, but. I didn't read a lot when it came to like the new Fifty Two run, but I do know that that was apparently one of his best runs in the. Those new 52 were good. Run. I liked it. I actually enjoyed it. And he was like, a I new- just. I mean, Nightwing was one of the first cosplays that I ever did when I was younger. So. I can't imagine it was black hair. I I, I dyed it a- just for no, for that cosplay. Say, oh, you didn't put a wig on for it. Nope, it, I literally you dyed it just- jet black, and then after that weekend was over, I like, I dyed it back red. Damn! I just found it. Odd that DC's release, other than Superman, DC's releasing all these live action films except for like the core characters. Like we're getting Superman Legacy. That well, it's actually being retitled just Superman now. But it's like the Batman is not in the universe. That's other else world. Yes, so it's like we're not getting a Batman. We're not getting a Wonder Woman proper. Aquaman's done. I was like, we're not getting a core of the A rate. It's like oh. 
here's all these other ones we're going to get first. And I'm like, we're getting move. boosted gold. We're getting boosted gold from what I've heard. As a series. That's a oh, yeah, series. series. And Green Lantern has yeah. a series. Oh, yeah. I, no, I, I hope they don't ruin the Booster Gold series. God, nah, they one won't. Of my I mean, honestly, I just hope it ties into Blue Beetle. You can't Blue Beetle without Booster Gold yeah. and vice versa. You need those two Ooh. together. There. Comedic Gold. Oh, yeah. Isn't, like, it, it, we're still an original Blue Beetle, Beetle too, not, not the new one. Oh, well, I mean, anyone, like, I don't want to spoil Blue Beetle for those who haven't seen it. Oh, okay. You're right. Okay. But we are getting a Blue Beetle too, also. I mean, the comp looks crazy right now. There's like, they got the Red Beetle. They got all the different scarabs now. It's like a scarab war, and it's amazing. And I think they I got red now? Yet this week. It's not so, when there was green and black. Yeah, there's a red now. Okay. And it, it's not and it's not a throwaway. It's not a stupid line thing either. Like, it actually makes sense in comic book. Oh, no. Booster Gold is not an F list. Who said Booster Gold is F list? F list hero? No. Uh, in, um, what was it? I think it was, uh, what was it? I don't even Justice like League Unlimited? He would have had a really good run in that one as well. Except for in Smallville when they had Booster Gold show up in that. That doesn't count, though. He was in Smallville. When he was I don't really Yeah. Randomly, when they were doing the uh, the Legion thing with the rings, and he had like all the, the sponsorships all over his suit, like a uh, freaking NASCAR driver. Oh. Uh, it was in the last, towards the last season when, you know, they were trying to do Doomsday, but it wasn't Doomsday. And he, Tom Welling didn't want to wear the suit because it was cursed, apparently. Ooh. Just like his acting career after Cheaper by the Dozen, too. Uh, I thought the whole All reason right. why he didn't walk it was because he thought it was going to doom his acting career. And then. Yeah. yeah. Obviously, him not wearing it because they actually CG'd his face over Brandon Roth in the final, uh, the series finale. Oh, really? I didn't know that. Yeah. No, he never put the suit on. Ever. And I was like, sir, like, you've only been in two movies. You think that's a good place to end it now? That's all you've been (laughs) I feel like it's a good stopping point where Cheaper Mother doesn't do. Yeah. Yeah, I was trying to find pictures of me and my Nightwing cosplay. Oh, you still have pictures? Uh, yes, I do because I went to a whole like photo shoot for it for the convention. So I was trying to find it on my computer. I know I have it, I just got to find it. Oh, so I'm like digging around just because I see like the ones from the Fire Emblem photo shoot from last year, no, three years ago. Oh, okay. So I'm like, I'm in the right track, just need to find it. Though I do have a photo of me with the wife, but do I want to do a wife reveal randomly? I don't know. Can you just copy and paste the image in Photoshop and crop her out, or? Um, I don't know. We'll, 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 we'll leave it as a mystery. Um, but yeah. Um, in other news, yeah, uh, um, The Rock has a new. Uh, entrance theme and video. And Dota I haven't wrestling. watched SmackDown in a while. Um, I watched the Cody speech where he cried. That that hit me hard. Where he uh, said like he can't no, give the uh, yeah. belt the belt yeah, to his the dad has, he can give to his mom. The Rock has a whole new heel entrance video and uh, music, and I'm like, it's so good. I have to watch it because whenever we do the SmackDowns on, and yeah. Uh. I need to yeah, talk to it. work. I need to. I need to actually on Monday actually see if I can book some annual leave for night to a WrestleMania because it'll be on a Monday for me. Oh, oh. That, yeah, the time change that's gonna suck. Like the UK mm. and Australia. Like I feel bad when like we have like the East Coast pay per views because it's especially when if it's on the the East Coast of the US. I'm like yeah. yeah. That time change is like rough. Yeah. Yeah, but the rock. Um, but what Advent Von is saying. Um, yeah, the rock going heel has been like a lot of fun to watch. Like that whole press conference for WrestleMania and how it went from there. It's been because everyone was predicting at like Elimination Chamber is the rock going to show up because he cut that promo saying, "Oh, if Cody sh- talking shit about me. You you bet on me and the uh, bloodline will be there." And I was waiting. I was waiting for the entrance music to pop off, and we never got it. 
Well, since we only have three seven people watching, like, uh, what, stealth wife oh, reveal, no. but there it is. Oh my god! Yeah. Oh, you so, went with yeah. the red. Okay. Yes, I went with the red for it. So I wasn't sure. I was expecting the blue. I had to go with the red. It's a nice color scheme. Good it is one. actually. I, I like the so. I like the red more. He so, think he needs a down. green one, honestly. Like. I don't know why I thought you were holding a selfie stick, but that was actually the weapons. Because I was like, "Wait, <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Stick like that. How is the camera up there?" And like, they attach on the back as well, so yeah. that was pull them out. Just and I made them glow too, because I because I gotta have the glow ups. I'm glad you didn't get those lame suits that like the whole thing's printed on it and it has like the tag printing. I hate when people do that. No, no, no I made this one myself. I, I was like, yeah. Does I don't like how many people get that stuff. It's just the Power Ranger suits that are like that, because I'm like, it just doesn't look like none of, like the Bat in the Sun style designs and stuff. And I'm like, I don't like that stuff. Especially on a Nightwing, because I've seen a lot of people wearing Nightwing ones like that. And I'm like, well, if you're going to do that and it's all printed on it, at least put some armor over the, like, make it like something solid, not just a onesie, basically. Yeah, that's usually what I, I see. So I was like, no, I got to add some armor components to it to make it look like it's a proper combat suit, that type of shit. So yeah. Like, obviously, it makes sense if it's, like, a Spider-Man costume or something like that. That makes yeah. sense. But, like, with Nightwing, I, I was always like, no, I need you need to have something physical there for that. But kudos for the red, though. Not a lot of people. What, what's funny that. is that there is a video of me uh, going into a uh, a liquor store in that cosplay. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, dancer, dancer belt, obviously. Uh, yes. Actually, no. So, this was... Early days of cosplay, so as opposed to dancer's belt, I I got a G string. <laughs> so the goods were all concentrated in the front. Oh, oh. <laughs> so 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 the boys were all centralized. <laughs> That's why I have to emphasize once again, dancer's belt, get yourself one of those. Because if you get yourself a G string and you just put your boys up in that some bitch, then it's just gonna centralize the whole thing right there. <laughs> And then people are just going to be looking at like, damn, that's a lot of package you got going on right there. It's like, yes, you could call it legendary. <laughs> <laughs> so, so yes, I did walk into a liquor store <laughs> dressed like that with the with the boys just centralized. Getting, I mean, <laughs> getting I've me some... done. I've done the same as Sora, so I mean, it's alter. It's like they're like, like adult. I swear. Yep. I've never cosplayed. I always say back in the day, like I get memories from my Facebook, but like memories. I was like, I want to cosplay, and I never did. Um, there is a running joke with me and my friend Mason. There is a running joke with me and my friend Mason where he's going to be Master Chief, and I'm going to be like one of the little grunts from Halo. <laughs> that would be the greatest thing ever, just because no one ever. Yeah. Also, like, Cloudy, uh, people are saying, yes, your mic is definitely very, very low. You sound like you're rooms away. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Yes. I don't, I don't know what's going on, but you sound very, very far away. And I'm like, your mic moment. levels, I did not change your mic levels. Uh, I'll leave and come back. Maybe something... Oh, okay. I don't think I've ever seen anyone cosplay the Grunt from Halo. It's always just been no. Master Chief or anyone from ODST. No one ever does any of the yeah. cool Covenant stuff. Like, no one wants to be yeah. the flood. Okay, no. Nothing. Okay, you sound better now. Okay, sick. Sorry. Okay. Yeah, I don't, I don't yeah, know what yeah, happened. Normal. What happened? I don't know. I don't know. You just know. sound very, very low. Okay. Uh, what was your wife cosplaying as, by the way? Um, you know the chick from Your Name? Oh, her. Oh, really? yeah. uh, okay. Yes. Okay. 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 Yeah, because that was, like, the in thing during that time, so that tells you what year that... Oh, okay. That yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I have yeah. a good... Yeah, I have a good idea. That was like 2018, I think, that we did that because it was the same year that our son was born. So, yes. Oh. Yeah. Oh. My favorite was when School Rumble was a peak. Because everyone was dressed up, even though it's like standard boring. But it's like, nope. I, mean, I was like, yeah, let me let me get the weird hair gel out. And I had the long hair. Because I used to have hair longer than Zio's back in the day. No photo. I mean, my hair was longer than this. I've just, you know. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it was like, I was like, damn. 
I just can't believe the G string. That's all I was shocked about. Yeah. Right, I'm trying to forget. Look, look, you know, look, like, I'm just... you know, that, that, that's like a footnote that didn't need to be told. Honestly, yeah. But, well, yeah. you mentioned dancers, though, so I was like, I got to tell you what the truth is. Uh. <laughs> Wait, Ash, is that a Funko Megazord shirt or like a a super? I know it's a chibi Megazord? one. It's that chibi one that I got on shirt punch. Um, it has kanji. It has uh, kanji on there. Oh hopefully, I hopefully it has my bad I'm words looking. on there. Uh, I'll yes, send I'm you. Okay. Right. I'll, I'll send. Yeah, I'll send you. A... Well, Warrior said those words, my guy. <laughs> Please, yeah. no, no. You're moving away from that. No, we yeah. we have to end um, it off away from that. Yeah, we have to end it off. Dijujin yeah. um, said some shit. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He said, "Kill your brother. Um, don't be a pussy." Damn. Mammals can go burn. Yeah. Dinosaur um, Mark, life. I Mark, I will no, send you a quiz. link to that shirt. Yeah, I will send you a link to that shirt. Um, All right. Wait, didn't I could put old like stores that are no longer like around slogans on there? Oh, what is the cat? What's the cat doing now? Oh, oh. paint. Ooh, got it. Hi, Mark cat. Hi, Mark's cat. What's your name for your cat? I don't think. The kitten is Luna, and the older tuxedo cat is Scarlet. Oh, okay. Okay. Now, you don't have Scarlet's Artemis? Little... How do no. you have Luna but not Artemis? What? what? We said Luna's the most recent one, and we're at two out of three. Dude, cat's been revealed tons of times. The cat's always on like in videos and on the streams all the time. Both mm -hmm. of them. Yeah. Obviously, Luna for obvious reasons of best show Kitten? ever made. <laughs> With a sailor. Oh, okay. Yes, that's oh, why I was like was... Luna, not Artemis, because of course that's now I know I get that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know. So just me. if I can get one more, but like can't. I'm at the we're at the pet limit. It's two max, so I can't get a turtle. Uh, see, I wanted to get a second dog, but my dog hates other dogs, so I'm not doing it. <laughs> I want to get really? a turtle, but you need a license for it. Apparently, you in Australia, yeah, I had two yeah. turtles. I didn't need a, a license. Weird. For it. Uh, well, yeah, I need, you're not Australia. I need a well, it's license. Australia. They're probably snapping turtles over there, so it's, it's... no. no mine were snapping turtles. It's like a huntsman guess... turtle. Uh, yeah, but Ash, Ash, you know that that big turtle that you have in like Zelda Majora's Mask. That's probably the size they have over there in yeah. Australia. So that's why you need a license for it. And that's the baby <laughs> version. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. There's this old like TikTok where it's like, um, oh, I gotta find it. No, oh, yeah, no, I had no. turtles when I was. Well, the app is still around before it gets. Oh no, man, you're in Australia. It's not getting banned there. <laughs> no. Um. <laughs> see if I can find it. I assume the turtles in Australia just like one can speak perfect English, and can run, and have thumbs. Oh. Yeah. What no, what, okay. what does it become a person? Basically, right. their turtles are blast toys. Mega evolution. Oh. I, I'm, I'm okay. like at that point. That's a proper kappa. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I, I found it. I found it. Let me see the thing. It's on Twitter, so I don't know if everyone can watch it. Oh. Okay. Oh man, I want a kangaroo. You can have a kangaroo as a pet. I don't. It's not I don't fair. think so. Honestly, it's really not fair. Like. Won't that thing beat you up like every day? Dude, like if you don't trained. if you don't feed it right, it's gonna kick your ass. Yeah. Steel sharpens steel. I mean, I have a rabbit. This is just a rabbit on steroids. <laughs> You're not wrong. I mean, it looks like one. So. I oh, train it every day. It's a dream. Mark, you guys didn't you... have like literally just a a, a freaking. Wheel of Fortune, wheel of things that could murder you in a second in Australia. I'd be there with kangaroos. What about the spiders alone? Do the spiders alone have their own wheel? Yeah. <laughs> it's the spider wheel. They have birds that dive at your head. I, I think you we've got, got more spider, ones? like more spider forms, and Gotchard has forms. Probably. See, I think if, if Spider Man came yeah. out of Australia, he'd be more threatening. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <Just Literally>. like, <laughs> be like, which spider bit him? <laughs> They got the poisonous like, one, they got the big one, they got the deadly one. Yeah. 
Yeah. Like you basically yeah, nobody have, messed with Australian Spider Man breeding ground over hey, there. If, if yeah. it's like British and Indian Spider Man, I'm sure like the next Spider Verse movie we're getting Australian Spider Man, and he just like <laughs> one shots everyone. He does, and he I hides in like tailpipes of cars and climbs yeah. out of them, even though you're doing like eighty miles brains. per hour, and he yeah. doesn't fall off. Bro, the thing, the fact that they come out of the place that we sing nursery rhymes about them going away down, like the water spout's supposed to get rid of them. You're, yours is just like, oh, water spout. This is a nice way Let's to come. Go. It's like, Let's go. you flush the toilet. It workout. comes out of the toilet. Yeah. It's like, wait, it's supposed to be going down. Why are you coming up? It's like, like you, you spray the spider repellent on it, and you're like, oh, thank you. I need a new perfume. Yep. Yeah. No, that's yeah. just no. Get the raid out, and it's just like mm, delicious. You're Give me more. Fire. Like, good, I was cold. Like, <laughs> Get out of the flamethrower. It's like, ooh, it's toasty. Well, we're nearly at the three hour mark. We somehow got there. Yeah. Yep. Rather we distracted Spider-Man away. Swing webs. He yeah. swings freaking buildings at people. Australian Spider Man. <laughs> he still, still right. it just moves the buildings with his web. That reminds me, like, when I was a kid, I saw, like, Static for the first time, and they had, like, African Spider-Man. Like Static Shock? Yeah. Well, that show. I was making sure, I was making sure Static Shock. Uh, I'm hoping, I, I'm hoping that live action is still in the works in pre-production, mm-hmm. like, negotiation stages, because that would be really good if it was done right. I feel like DC's been a little bit silent when it comes to, like, what's in their production pipe work. I think they're just really waiting to see if mm-hmm. Superman, like, Sticks yeah. the landing. Well, um, and then, and with then them, start going. Well, they're getting. Well, they're probably getting a big tax off right off with them selling Rooster Teeth. Oh yeah, that's right, Warner Brothers. Uh, I mean, to be fair, that was a loss leader for them anyway. There was no, like no profit to be had with that. So there's a lot of other stuff going on too behind the scenes. Like for right now, it's like they're just putting some space between the last DC film, which is Aquaman two, and then the next one, and they're just trying to, you know. And nothing's even filming yet, you know. And Ooh. James Gunn is in the Favreau seat where he's overseeing all the stuff. So it's like, you're really gonna oversee everything? All right. Okay. I want to see Batgirl though. I want to see how bad it is because Brendan Fraser was in it. And everyone says he killed it in that. So I was like, let me see that. I need Especially to see Mike like was in it. Let me see that too. I want to see that Supergirl film and the Batgirl film. I need to know how they would have turned. Well, out. Supergirl was never filmed. Oh, was that a film? Yeah, that was, was that, that was, was never filmed. No, it was just that, Batgirl that, that was. That, yeah, that got cut before they were even going to do it because it was supposed to come out. They were going to start filming it after the Flash. They so it's only the Batgirl film. movie that has like the actual footage behind it. The back, no, the Batgirl film is completely done and edited. They have a final cut of it, or re- that was ready to go. Yeah, to but I know, but it's, yeah, they can't air it, right? Or no, but they no, burned no, it to the ground it. supposedly. Yeah. So. yeah. I want that film. Someone's got to get their hands on that. That was so bad to the point that they said that the Flash was actually good. Makes me wonder just how bad that film was if they said the Flash was good in comparison. There was test audiences that rated it higher than the Flash. They rated it higher than Zack Snyder's Justice League, the regular Justice League, and higher than one in 1984. And there was actual... So I was like, I think they just needed a tax break because they knew they were going to budget and promote the flash so much they were going to spend a lot of money and it wasn't going to make it back so that was that's my like little tinfoil hat theory on it i would think that the part of the reason why they would have canned it is because it sets up a whole new universe that they weren't going to commit to anyway yeah uh, so people would have been mad though it was very isolated except for the michael keaton thing michael keaton everything else was very isolated it was kind of basically think of batman beyond not in the future but instead of mm-hmm. terry it's background i still think but that's the thing it's like i really want actual Batman Beyond, and I oh no, I do too, one hundred percent. Because that's the thing. It's like because I did hear those exact same terms that it was supposed to be Batman Beyond, just not with Batman Beyond, not with Terry McGinnis, but with Batman. Yeah. I'm like, but that's no, I want Batman Beyond to be Batman Beyond. I want Terry it to McGinnis. be Terry McGinnis. Yes, yeah. I just wanted to see proper Firefly in a Batman Batgirl Ooh. movie, and also Brandon Fraser's return to any sort of action film because he's been doing dramas. And the last action film he did was The Mummy 3, Tomb of the Abominable Bullshit. So. What was it? I forgot. What uh, it was. I think it was Tomb of the Dragon Emperor. But it was still trash. That was the one with Jet Li in it. All right. Yeah. They, 
Uh, by the way, the Flash, they really should just cast it Grant Gustin. They already had him. Like, like, why not? They should have. They, they should have ended it with it, like, much. being recasted with Grant Gustin being the Flash. Yeah, that because he was already good at, like, he, he sold it. I liked it. I, yes. I thought he was a good Flash. Uh, Cody versus Acme probably might get released, but, like, they were chopping around it, like, any of the offers that were offered to them, so... Wasn't there one of oh yeah Coyote versus Acne? I thought yeah. That, yeah, you got to think yeah. they whatever they're gonna get as a tax write off. If you're gonna purchase them, they need to make that back. Yeah. I will say that Warner Brothers uh, Discovery was at a 52 week low earlier in the week, and I invested. And now shouldn't I'm you saying, be saving money? I still invested. Yeah, mm-hmm. I pulled out of another stock that was already a loss leader, and I was like, ah, uh, yeah. I hope it wasn't more yeah. Nintendo. No, no, it was Joanne Fabrics. Oh, okay. They filed for bankruptcy, and I was like, "Oh shit, pull out, pull out, sell." sell I remember off. you talked, you talked yes. about buying yes. Joanne Fabrics. Yeah, yeah, yes, and I was like, "Oh, they're filing for bankruptcy." No, <laughs> <laughs> my money. Sell, sell, sell. I'm already losing money. Sell, <laughs> just sell now. <laughs> I was like, no. And with that, I will just use this money to go yeah, into yeah. Warner Brother Discovery and another stock. So, uh, all right, great, we've done it, we've reached it, we've we've made it to the end just in time for Ash to show up. And uh, Pin yeah. Pal, what you got? What you got going on? Me, okay. Um, so I've got the YouTube's going on. I've got the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers return video. I'm probably going to be making a Fallout video on the Austin St. John stuff that's been happening, like reading a lot of comments and piecing my thoughts together since then. Um, probably not a lot of opinions have changed, but I want to laugh at the people who are defending him in the comments. Um, but yeah, uh, and then apart from that, like uh, not a lot of comic news until the end, like not a lot of comic stuff until the end of the month. So just stay tuned for that. And yeah, that's about it. I do feel like with uh, the Austin St. John video, that would allow you to do some more like collaborations on the video to get proper, like from other folks, just be like getting quick opinions from folks that actually just want to say their piece regarding the entire thing. I think a lot of people have said their piece on Twitters and stuff like that. And yeah, but you know, yeah. th- there's some folks that just don't exist in those platforms because yeah, they see right, and they bad. right, and I think yeah, that'd be good to get voice opinions. Just some people probably don't want to give their thoughts on it. Like, like I feel like Far Cost and Saint John is their piece, and I can understand if that's where their piece is at. Makes sense. Yeah, yeah, I get that. Um, but also check me out on Ranger Command. The episode's still up. Um, definitely a lot of fun to listen to. Um, had a lot of fun recording that one with Eric, and hopefully I can do some more comic talk with like Rolliver and others in the nearby future. That is yeah, on the watch later up, stream, thanks. so I will be checking that out soon. Mm. Mm. All right, Mark, what you got going on? The bare minimum. Nice. Um, you you say that, but I've been seeing a lot more coming out from you recently than I have here. seen the last couple weeks. So get the fuck that's out of here with that shit. So that's I had some other stuff, you know, going on, and um, yeah, no, uh, I'm, I got it's like a lot of candy toy reviews going up because I finished the um the premium Bandai with Ant Wrestler and Goldash, and I actually have another video I filmed going over how this will keep all of your candy toys and stickers staying on there good but i have just like honestly i have no idea for a thumbnail that's literally like sometimes i draw blanks on how i want thumbnails. so i literally have f- four videos in the drafts that have been there for over a week and i just don't have a thumbnail because i'm just like, can't just use your like face in different poses i hate that so much i mean i have a whole stock like folder of pngs of me various ways eating like pickles to use mm-hmm. um and I was like, ah, oh, just do that. I'm like, ah. And then um, I'm Boom Boom your toys. Like, because honestly, like, this Super Sentai rabbit hole has showed me, like, has shown me that there's so much Super Sentai toys out there. So I actually have a Super Sentai toy video, not about toys, but about. I want to do more like Zio wanted to do when he, you have the space, do some like editorial type stuff. I'm going to try to keep track of my journey 
getting into Super Sentai more because mm -hmm. that's fun. Because mm -hmm. I haven't made a good chart video that hasn't been a toy review since December. I have not talked about that show. And I thought it's only been a, like a month. I didn't know it's been like three and a half months. Yeah. Oh, if only but, that show yeah. would give us like proper ammunition to like to be fully committed. Yeah. Like it's so weird. It, it's I, very safe. It's the, super safe. This is the I longest I've been without being fully committed to a comrade show since like same. The I would say the end of Ghost was like the last time I was like this non-committal. The end of Ghost. Video. Not the beginning the of Ghost, I was committed. Video. But by the end yeah. of it, I was like, eh. Yeah, and that's the thing is like Saber, Revice, Geats, like all the ones I've done videos every week, unless like I was traveling or something. I've never gone three months without like doing a show. I was and I was gonna do every five episodes, and I was like, Yeah, it's been five episodes, hasn't it? And I went and looked and I'm like, it's been since December 12th. I was like, that's more than five it's episodes. All, it's all of February, January. Yeah, so I uh, don't expect a good chart video. That's not me saying I'm working on one. I'm not. I have no, I have no, I'm nothing in the pipeline for it. Um, I'm enjoying, not that I'm enjoying Super Sentai more. I just, you know, I'm going to try something new with content because I've been putting out, I have been pumping out. And my con my podcast is coming back. I have two episodes ready to go that are going to be coming out. Hey. Nice. I thought it took a month off. I haven't put out an episode since October. Nice. <laughs> so, you know, they always say consistency is key. Consistent. Cloudy. Yeah. Cloudy. Yeah, but that's you've good. been making content, right? Uh, for my Gotcha channel, yeah. And cloudy. Uh, so patch four point five of Genshin. Uh, the banners for that have released as long as well as. Patch uh, 2.2 and 2.1 of Honkai Star Rail. So they both have their characters that are being announced. And a lot of people are disappointed by both of them for different reasons. Uh, and I had to do, like, I kind of did a live stream covering it a couple weeks ago. So uh, I, I I was going to make a video, like, condensing that live stream. But if, uh, that's about it. Nothing else, really. Nice. Uh, for me, obviously, I put out the Paradise Regained review, finally out there um being that it's like 26 minutes long and it's like almost twice the length of a usual review like y'all don't realize how long it took to fucking edit that son bitch oh six hours <laughs> no it took two days two days two full exactly. days because one of the things about like reviewing a film uh, especially one that is a series so dear and near to my heart is that I couldn't talk about it without talking about the series. So, of course, when it came to... Like, I couldn't avoid talking about spoilers for the series because it's essential to going into Paradise Regained. So I had to talk about the series. I had to talk about Paradise Lost. And the biggest thing when it comes to, like, the post-editing scheme is getting the footage of it all. So I had to go back and essentially semi rewatch all of Five. all of eyes just to get the clips that I needed, just for you the like portions it? of it. Oh, I still enjoy the fuck out of it. Okay. Yes. Okay. Um, and then Paradise Lost, but yeah, I mean Paradise Lost is easier because it's just a singular film when it comes to that aspect. Um, the biggest thing that I'm like in a qualms about is what my next video is going to be because there's there's two options that I have on my plate. One that I actually really care about doing and one that people would probably be just like, why the fuck aren't you doing this yet? Type thing. The Gotchard so, uh, synopsis, I assume? Yeah, yeah. So so a Gotchard catch-up video is one of the options. Yay. The other one is talking about Tokusatsu and its episode length runtime which seems to be a very hot button topic when it comes to uh, Toku nowadays. Cause they're like, yeah, if this episode was, if this show was like half the, the episode count, it would be a superior show, that type of shit. And the pros and cons of that working. And that's one that I'm way more passionate about doing a video of than another Gotchard catch up. 
right. but I'm like, I, I expect people to be like, where's that Godroid video? Where's that Godroid video? That type of shit. I get that. Especially since and it's been like boom boom over five years. Yeah, yeah. Luckily, I haven't gotten any because I literally prefaced that first episode review with like, this is what I'm going to do. So they listened? I haven't gotten I haven't gotten a single comment saying wow. where is that uh boom boom your episode two review? You slacking on them boom boom your reviews. Where you at? I remember the Geats situation. Well, well, that, well that's only because <laughs> a, a week has passed. Maybe once it starts being like two, three weeks and I start mm. pumping I out. I feel content. like you're never gonna get to Gotchard if you keep delaying it like the way you are. You're never gonna get I'm it. not delaying like it. To. It's just there's other shit that I could pull out, plus I'm also trying to it's it's literally the the middle of of March. I gotta start working on my April Fool's video like now okay. to get it out in time. Are you gonna do it like this? Is the movie Zio, the the trailer for the film? I'm not gonna that say is, shit. <laughs> into the Zio verse. <laughs> so. Uh, so yeah, there's different things, but yes, I mean, I will get to the Gatchard catch up eventually. It's still within the month that's still on the plans, but it's just other shit that I want to cover ahead of time. Other yeah. stuff. So, Hey, it's, it's that time. Usually the time between like the episode one and episode five of Sentai gives me enough wiggle room to start working on other content that I do want to work on. So we'll see. We'll see in terms of that front. Um, otherwise, um, I am not looking forward to whatever random ass news is going to end up dropping this week, given the last two weeks of news that we've gotten. So <laughs> I don't have a bingo card for it, but if someone does, um, boy, uh, on that note, we're out of here. So we will catch you all next time. Until then. Yep. Bye. 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 Bye.